going to bring this special affairs meeting to order. Roll call, please. Mr. Mays? Mr. Mays? I'm present. Mr. Davis? Present. Mr. Guerra? Present. Ms. Fields? Present. Ms. Winfrey Carter? Present. Mr. Winfrey? Present. Ms. Galloway? Present. Mr. Briggs? And I. Ms. Worthy? Um, first on the agenda is request for changes and or additions to the agenda. Are there any? Yeah, Madam Chair. Mr. May? You got uh, this uh, resolution with Goyette and um, W.T. Stevenson. I want to see what they're going to say because you know this folks saying here was an emergency meeting called downstairs with contractors at four and we requested them here at 4 30. and so my position is this i'd like to see a special order to discuss this restoration project after public speech okay mr mays thank you is there any other um, additions or changes to the agenda Hearing none, all in favor of the changes as stated, say aye. 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 Those that oppose, any abstention. So now we will have public speakers that will receive, will get two minutes. Is there anyone that would like to address this council? Anyone that would like to address this council? Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Could you say your name for the record, please? My name sir? is R.L. Mitchell. I reside at 759 East Linden Avenue over on the north side. One block away from Mays District, but I'm in Zorro District, current this other council. But anyway, I'm going to address the, uh, Mr. Guy that's supposed to be here at 4.30 and on a, on a demand of who's going to get the best order restitution for for Mr. Mays neighborhood where all the potholes and most, the grass ain't cut yet, and he hasn't showed up. So we are the people who are concerned about that, and we... Letting it know for the record that let's go ahead and better get his act straight or else. Thank you, sir. That's not, that's not a threat. Is there anyone else that would like to address the council? Is there anyone else that would like to address the council? Yes. Governor, uh, can you please say your name for the record? Arthur Woodson. Uh, I like to uh, say that beer rigging is a federal felony. An offense under Section 1 of the Sherman Act. Beer rigging is an illegal practice in which competing competing parties collude to choose the uh, winner of a bidding process while others submit uncompetitive bids. I would like to know who gave Rob Benzik the order to redo the bids and who gave Tamar the order to have Rob Benzik do it. This is the same thing that happened with Rizzo. We fought with the administration from June 27th 2016 until October 16, 2016. We told them that it was a bid rigging going on after the bids were open. They allowed Rizzo to change part of their bid. What if I wanted to bid on a few items that they are calculating now? This should have been rebid. If uh, if I can't uh, bid on it, they shouldn't just be able to take the people who bid it and say, "All right, we got 11 units." that you bid on, and then they find out all, all we're going to use is five, I should be afforded the same opportunity if I didn't bid uh, back when the RFP came out. So should not be able to bid on that new bid now where they're only using four or five items instead of 11. They shouldn't just take the uh, couple of uh, companies that they have. So this is crazy. I would like to see the mayor vote it out. Uh, office instead of taking up out of here in handcuffs because this is a straight criminal act that's going on here and do not be a part of it uh, because that that wasn't right what they did and the state didn't tell them to change the contractors they told them to just show them the, how did they come up with the calculations thank you thank you sir thank you. is there anyone else that would like to address Good um, I was watching y'all on um, live stream video the last time y'all had y'all um, committee meeting. And I think it's so important that any add-ons that y'all have on y'all um, agenda um, should be announced prior to the public speaking. I um, noticed that Art was trying to speak last time on um, the add-ons for the um, resolution that was added on at the 
in the middle or at the end of your um, agenda item discussion. So I think the administration or the city council, any add-ons that you guys have for the agenda should be added on prior to public speaking. Therefore, we can speak on those add-ons and not be um, blindsided and be like, oh, we didn't get to speak on that. Um, as far as the contract with the Goyette um, versus um, W.T. Stevenson, which must, both of them may be good companies, but I just think um, from being on the Charter Commission, anytime you um, tamper with um, the um, specs or the items, I think you guys talked about 11 items versus two items, it's a, the whole um, contract should be um, completely scrapped and you guys should just go and rebid it out to make it fair for all other contractors that may be interested in bidding or um, make an amendment or come up with some resolution with Boyette to allow them What's the your opportunity. Did that thing go up? No, Mr. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. I heard him. something. I just no. heard something. I don't know what it was. Mr. Oh, Murphy, I'm going to add a couple of seconds to your thing. But you I, can I continue. just think that um, when you're changing those different specs like that, um, it's not fair for the one who won. You don't know if they went and brought some things knowing that they was about to, they had believed that they won that contract. So, and this also um, could be a liability issue to the city of Flint. That's it. Thank you, sir. Is there anyone else that would like to address this council? Yes, Madam Chairman. If you could just say your name for the record, please. Brandon Beatrice. I'm on behalf of Super Construction. I have the paperwork that I can hand it out to you if that's all right. You might want to take your time and then mm -hmm. we can pass them out for yes, you. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Um, I'm here today because um, I think we talked a little while ago about the uh, change order we had for about $77,000. And then we also have a retainage that we've invoiced for um, and haven't heard any information back um, besides it's being taken care of and it should be soon. So. I just want to make sure you guys are aware of that and bring us some documentation to support them. I can pass it There you go. Thank you. Is there anyone else that would like to address this council? Yeah, if you um, in, if you could just please say your name for the record, sir. Uh, Luke Super, I'm gonna read it very quick. Brandon just said, but we sent out emails and we tried contacting the city and Rob Benzik and a few others since March to get our retainage of approximately two hundred forty eight thousand dollars. Uh, numerous emails, and when I say numerous, at least 20, at least 25 to 30 phone calls. And back in March, we even had, actually in April, we had an email response from the purchasing that says, your check will be issued, not this week, but very soon. It's already been three months. Very soon is not three months. Um, all the restoration was complete. We talked to the road crews. They said everything's perfect. There's no reason to hang out and retain this. Also in the documents that you see in front of you, the very first page is the email correspondence. Just one of many. Um, and it's been going on just way too long. So we contacted the state. They said to get a lawyer and get a lawyer involved and we can go after damages and so forth. We don't want to go down that route. Uh, however, I don't see why Rob cannot just sign a piece of paper or release some of the change. And that goes beyond the um, change order. So that's what I want to bring up, and there's the evidence right there, and so forth. Thank you. Is there anyone else that would like to address this council? Um, if you could, sir, please stand and just say your name for the record. Sure. My name is Frederick Bush. Um, I'm in Texas. Well, I have a property over on the south side of town. Uh, by Hemphill on McDonald Avenue. Uh, I just bought that back in December. I looked as if I invested money into the city. I put about fifty thousand dollars into this house to get it nice and everything. I was elated, happy that uh, I bought the. I closed down the house December seventh. The crews Goyette came through there, redid the pipes and everything. They tore up the grass, they tore up the street, and they did that. They said we'll be back in the springtime. Here it is, August. Nothing's been done yet. I have, and what I'm here for today is that I feel like the whole thing about the water thing is about accountability, I feel like. And I've called, I've talked, tried to talk to the mayor, can't get through to her. I've talked to just about every person I could in the city. They transmit me to talk to the city maintenance. They say, oh, we're not responsible for that. They have a contract with us. Nothing's getting done. And I feel like, you know, I'm putting my money into the city trying to make it, you know, beautify the city. And here, the city's just dragging their tail 
on doing nothing and give me the royal runaround. And I'm sure I'm not the only person that they're doing this to. And also, I see we're the first street to actually get done because we're McDonald is the first street north of Hemphill Road, which is the city limit. And you can go down on Red Arrow to the other, I don't know all the names of the streets, I'm new to the area. You go know, down Red Arrow and you can also go down Old, um, Old, Old or something like that. They're redoing all the roads, they're doing all that stuff. Our street still isn't done. They, they've done a spot here, and it's been like three months, and they did a spot like maybe two weeks ago. But there's nothing, there's nothing been done about it. And I, you know, I just feel like, you know, here I am trying to beautify the city, trying to be a good citizen, and the city just kind of gives me a runaround, and the city's not being accountable for anything, you know, to give me a straight answer. Is there anyone else that would um, like to address the council? Anyone else that would like to address the council? Anyone else that would like to address the council? Okay, so now we will have uh, council comment. Yes, sir. Um, who would like to be first? Mr. Davis? Thank you, Madam Chair. Mm -hmm. I'd like to speak to Mr. Art Woodson on that big room. Only a fool would play with state money. I get, I get grants and loans all the time. It come in comfort. Who in the world in their right mind in a municipality going to rig a bid? Anybody know that's a federal, federal offense. The problem come in, if the state told the city to do something, as Super Construction have said, who going to reimburse if the state won't reimburse? So we, it's common sense. I, I, I would speak for the administration knowing better that they will do a bid rigging, but I can't speak for the state who up at the state said we need to do this, need to do that, whether it's 11 or two items change. It had to be a call from the state. But I could about I will guarantee you, I'm sure the administration ain't doing no bid riggings. Whatever, whoever gonna pay the end at the end of the day, like this young man saying about his restoration. It's a lot of stuff we jump in loopholes that we have to jump. Because we controlled by what? The state. Ain't no big rigging going on. That would be beyond crazy. Thank you, Matt. Whoa, 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 whoa. I got a second or two. Second or two. Mr. Quincy, absolutely right. Add-ons would be, you, you should be able to speak to add-ons. Maybe we need to push back public comment until we done got our add-ons and then let public. That way you can join in on whatever the information. You're absolutely right. Thank you, Madam Chair. You're welcome, sir. Is there anyone else that would like to respond, Ms. Worden? It is crazy, and it is bid rigging, and uh, we owe Goyat money, not just super. Uh, that's the first time I've heard of that. Um, but we owe Goyat millions um, that's not been paid. Uh, I, I don't know why they're not being paid. Uh, it's upsetting to hear. And uh, to Fred, who lives in uh, my ward, I just talked to him before this meeting, uh, Goyat had the addresses. To the homes and was supposed to be working already, but the city took the homes from them and said you can't complete them and then put it into phase six. So Goyette still has homes that they could be doing, but the administration told them to stop. So uh, that's what we're here today is we need to work something out. This is this cannot continue. All of us are frustrated in every single ward. I've seen the damage to the homes. Uh, in the yards, and uh, we, we've got to work today to get this going. We can't uh, hold up restoration any more than, uh, than what it has right now. So I apologize to those who point are of information. What is your point of information, Mr. Davis? Will my colleague really understand who paying the, for the registration is the city or the state? And I'm done. Okay, well, I'm sorry. The I'm state um, is on record question. saying that they are not making the administration do this. This is the city's decision, and that's factual. And I have the documentation for that. So, no, Mr. Davis, you're incorrect. Is there anyone else that would like to address the residents? Mr. Garrett, I'm sorry, you are on my list, sir. Yes, yeah. go ahead. Yeah, I just want to state that uh, restoration, I think, to all of us in the council is very important. Uh, however, we want to make sure we do it legally and get these yards restored. I would have liked to see Goyette start working on these uh, restorations when we approved them weeks, weeks and weeks ago. 
Uh, super Construction, thank you for bringing this to our attention. I think it definitely needs to be looked into. Uh, I know that there's lots of concerns that as council, many of us don't hear about, and so sometimes it hits the press or uh, you guys that come to us and let us know. Um, uh, Mr. Murphy, um, I think it's a great idea to uh, let them know, and uh, I would like to make a referral to the administration that they announce before public comment uh, any add-ons that they might be bringing to the council so the residents can know. Uh, what's going to be talked about so we don't have to. Uh, like last meeting when Mr. Woodson had, uh, we had to change the rules so he could speak again. I think we should allow them to uh, be able to know. That's it. Point of information. There's no need for a point of information. Mr. Mays, would you like no, to um, take your point, point of information? Don't tell me when it ain't no need. Y'all don't, don't play with my time. Point, point of information. information. Mr. Mays. Uh, Mr. Gale, you know sometimes they come from us too. That's, uh, that's true, that's a good point. Um, I think it makes a valid point. So I hope any colleagues that we bring them to please address and let the residents know um, before public comment. Good, good point. Is there anyone else yeah. that would like to, Mr. Briggs? Uh, Quincy, uh, addressing your deal about the add ons, it's been my experience in the short time I've been at councilman that when there's an add on, somebody trying to slip something by us, you know, they're in a hurry. And they want us to hurry up and make a decision. <laughs> I think our add-on should be 48 hours before the meeting, just like our agenda, but it couldn't be helped this time. But uh, I don't think it should be before public speaking. It needs to be before the meeting, 48 hours. That's all. Thank, Thank you, sir. Did anyone else like to address the public? Anyone else? Yeah, Mr. Yeah. Mr. Mays? Yeah. I don't try to address the public, this many people from the public, in two minutes. It's a goofy rule, it's a stupid rule, and when the public comes, we should be able to talk back and forth and address your concerns. So under these funny rules, I know where they came from, you can't hardly do it. Stay tuned for the special order as it relates to restoration. I'm not, I done studied this stuff all weekend, and Mr. Woodson, to colleagues, <laughs> I haven't been through the court system. I'm going to stay innocent till proven guilty. I don't throw around allegations of bid rigging, and I don't listen to them lightly. I don't think nobody know that at this point. It's just people talking, people politicking. I want everybody in the city to know, while you listen to this council, be very careful, because all of them ain't Bible books. They ain't telling all the details and it ain't accurate. This council voted to throw out a company called AECOM. AECOM was getting addresses. They was working on bid specifications. This council, five of them, Kate Fields, Eva Worthen, Monica Galloway, Santino, Gary, and Griggs, threw them out about December. And ever since then, bid specs, address has been in chaos yes and now they sitting around like oh it's the administration if y'all too you shouldn't have threw out all of that help we had trying to save a measly two million now we got a 12 million dollar debacle because they done dumped all that work on a skeleton crew yes that's a fact and they ain't gonna want folks to hear that and put this stuff in chronological order. The media ain't gonna do it, cause I said it. Some of the media mad at me. They got freedom to write, I got freedom to speak. So I know what's going on in this city. You can't address it in two minutes. Add-ons is necessary. Thank we gonna you. run a city with add-ons. Is there any um, other council person that would like to address the public? Anyone? I will. Um, um, it's disappointing that this this the city has been responsible for bidding as long as they've been involved and it is disappointing to hear that this one isolated issue if you will would be tied to an AECOM vote um, and so I'm hoping that this community will recognize that bidding is a necessary and often practice that we cannot depend on an outside third party company to do for us. This is something that we have purchasing directors for, we have department heads involved, 
And so that's a daily process of the community. What I will say is um, um, I did speak to Eric Pocan, and one of the things that Mr. Pocan shared is the state does not place a requirement on who a municipality can choose for any contract. They said that is outside of their scope. They said that they allow the municipalities to use what governs them to choose. That's Eric Pocan spoke to him on Wednesday morning. The other thing that he shared is they have not received the information outside of verbal. So that which was requested on the email documentation that we received, according to Mr. Pocan, they still have not received. So the fact that we received a rescission and another contract is alarming to me, and we'll be discussing that more. So like my other colleagues, I too have done some research, and there are a lot of things that are questionable. I'm not going to say what it is, but the reality is we need to fix it and ensure that we are doing it in the best interest of this community. I've point also been researching. What is your point of information? Did he also go on to say that they would reimburse whatever figure we ended up coming up with? Mr. Davis. Or a certain I'm asking you're answer not really, question. You can call him, too. I'll answer no, when no, we are you talking. You said you spoke with him. Answer you the interrupted my two minutes. Did he say he would pay for whatever we wanted to come up with? And that's whatever? Not, that, Why is it a bid if he'll pay whatever? Mr. Davis, Come please. on, now tell the whole story. Mr. Davis, Re respond as a council person and try not to be answer. on one side. Why don't you respond to me as a council person? I am. And Didn't I he will. say we could be able to pick whoever we want to and they'll reimburse it? Yes or no? He absolutely said that we can make the decision. Is he going to reimburse like super Mr. sitting Davis. here now for some money that haven't been paid? Okay. Is he going to reimburse it? Mr. Yes Davis, or no? Try to be the a state, council the person. The city is not doing it. Try to be a council person and operate well, in your talk door. Talk to me like a council and, person. And, and I will. So next on the agenda is um, the special order. What is your point of information? You stated that we don't rely on outside companies such as AECOM. Don't we rely on Republic outside the company to pick up garbage? Mr. May, that's not the same. I, You're saying that the bid was I just asked a yes or no. Let's go with the agenda. No, that was a, a yes quick no. point of that's information. We don't rely no. on a that's outside wrong. company You're to pick wrong. up garbage. No, I'm right. We do outside rely on outside companies. Y'all do a e out. Let's, let's move it. on because you just I'm ain't going to answer the question. I'm listening to what you're telling me. You're done. No, and my so point of information on, is done. Now I'm to my you special order. Did you want me to respond? Because you asked the question. I asked the question. So let me ask question. you a question. No, I, forget it. I withdraw my point of information. I know the answer. Thank you. We're I just special know order. we rely on outside. We're on a special order to you talk about Boyette and WT Steve. Thank you. Um, um, Madam Chair, I requested this special order because it's going to be a trip trying to sort out and communicate to this public in the middle of this political season what you and Ms. Worthen is probably talking about now. Y'all ain't studying what I'm talking about. Y'all laugh and she, it ain't nothing I funny. This is serious. This is real you out of order. Everybody out of order. Ms. Galloway, chair this meeting, please. She don't just throw me out to warn people. Her no, she's not. This is crazy. What's so funny? What's so funny? You you we hope our serious meeting. What's so funny? You wanted so, people, Miss Galway, is it funny? I'm starting, I'm starting from scratch, Mr. Davis. We're starting from scratch. You need to control her laugh. Mr. Davis, I, this ain't the place she can laugh, Mr. Davis. Davis. Come on now. Oh Mr. Mays, you have the floor. Well, Mr. Davis, I am way. warning you mm -hmm. now. You can warn me, I don't care. Okay, well then you've received your first warning. Thank well, you, you control her Mays. too. Don't she discriminate against the black folks. You guys are taking this out of context. Okay, let Just me proceed. And you watch this and you I'll chair do. this meeting and you chair it even handed I because we got a problem with the way you chair. Let me move forward. I requested this special meeting before Miss Fields left again. Again. Highest absence. Leaving again. Miss Fields. Everybody watch it. This is a serious matter. Very my, the residents in my ward is ringing my phone off the hook. I told them contracts should be in place by July. Now we find out it's a $12 million debacle. Rob Benzik did the specs. We found that out last week. Rob Benzik reviewed the bids. We found that out last week. I asked that they should be here. They should be here now. The legal department should be here. 
There she come, on cue. I didn't even know it. The purchasing department should be here. Rob Benzik should be here. I've asked contractors to be here, but they had a four o'clock emergency meeting downstairs. Downstairs. Downstairs should be here. The mayor and Gill should be here, in my opinion, because it's that serious. And if folks can debacle it, every council person who voted to throw AE Com out is at fault. Yes. Now you say what you want to, Ms. Galloway, you and the people who voted to throw a whole department out, AE Com. And guess what they said? The same thing the emergency manager said, Kate Fields, you and her, we're saving two million dollars. Two million dollars you can save for a twelve million dollar debacle. Mr. as the chairperson, I want you to stay on tap. Point of order. I'm point of order. Point of order. If you interrupt me again and I'm on point talking about restaurant, I appeal the ruling of the chair. There is an appeal. Mr. Mays, I am ruling him out of order. He is not germane to the topic. AECOM is finished. It is done. We hear about it every meeting. We are talking about a restoration, rescission, and contract for Goyette and W.T. Stevens. All of the, the rest of it, Mr. Mays, is just showboating, and I won't tolerate it today. No. And so what would you like to say, Mr. Mays or Mr. Davis? Yes, I'd like well, to say this. Anybody. If anybody showboating is you. zero in on me, point of order. Don't zero in on me and Mr. Davis. Your job is to ask is that anybody got something to say. Not just me and him with your little fast talking self. Don't politic a politician. Your job is to yes, ask Mays, point of order. Point, point of order. order. My point of order is you don't single me and him out. You ask is anybody at this table Thank got you, something Mays. to say. Now do it Thank right. You. Does anybody want to discuss this um, appeal? Yes, I would. Mr. D Mr. Davis. The Go residents ahead. is highly pissed by what happened at that vote council May is very relevant. All our, at least our wards, is on fire about it. It wouldn't, we wouldn't be sitting here if y'all hadn't made that stupid vote to throw AECOM out. That's why it's very relevant. And now you act like it never happened and she's sitting up here laughing. This is not a joke to the people trying to restore their lives. This is not a joke for the administration that did what she spoke. They brought in a best, the best company in the country to come in to fix the problem. Y'all voted them out. Now you're going to try to hand the ball back to the administration. It's very frustrating. And she's sitting here laughing, and I'm done. Madam Chair. Is there any just, um, wording? I had a, just a quick personal conversation with Ms. Galloway. Had nothing to do with either of you. And I just, I just find myself wondering... Why do you care so much if I smile, if I laugh, if I'm, I'm not loud. Point of information. I'm not. Hello. What is your point? Do she realize this appeal is on you ruling me out of order? Well, you can talk about whatever you want. No, point of order. That ain't what we do in appeals. We well, stick germane to what the appeal is on. Just did a point of information Thank to see if you, you knew what we were going. I, I did know. I just get tired of, you know, being singled out. Uh, and if I laugh, I mean, it's either that or cry or be angry. And I'd rather laugh. I'm not crying, mister. Not crying. Um, so I'll just continue to laugh when, when things, I mean, this is insanity. Who else would not laugh at this? Is there anyone else that would like yeah, to speak on this, Mr. Mays? Mr. President, I called the special order to talk about restoration. And the restoration has to do with the two contracts between Goyette and W.T. Stevenson. But the, it's relevant to talk about who wrote the specs, who looked at the bid, and AECOM used to do that. And when I talk about AECOM in the middle of talking about restoration, where we came from, where we should be, how we got here, she gonna rule me out of order that I can't talk about AECOM in the middle of this conversation about bids and specs and addresses being sent. We appeal to Ruth because that who used to do send an address, contractors, is relevant. She done ruled it's irrelevant. You out of order, this is your first warning. I'm not out of order on a special order that I brought. 
just because I said five council people voted no, and she talking about it's irrelevant, you bring this up every time. It's relevant to who did the bids to spec. We hoping that we vote no on her ruling to try to throw me out again, repeatedly ruling folk out of order, and I know 100% is relevant to discuss who do the specs, the bids, and AECOM used to do it. Now they done flooded Rob Benzik with it, a skeleton crew, and I'm saying it's relevant because that's where the debacle came from. Row engineering ain't doing what um, AECOM used to do. So we want you, if you catch on to what we say in the vote, no on her ruling to shut me up, interrupt me, as I'm doing a special order I requested on how we got to this place, in my opinion, as it relates to a $12 million debacle on bids and specs that AECOM was doing in row eight. And that she mad because I'm saying she had something to do with throwing that whole department out and talking about it's irrelevant, you out of order, this is your first warning. I don't trust her as far as I can see her because she done got votes to throw me out of meetings before. And I'm telling the legal department, if they continue to let it happen, they ain't no good. Every council person setting up here ain't no good. I don't care if it take me to 2022 in court. I'm going to prove that I'm elected and I know how to talk relevant. And she not going to do these bogus rulings and warnings and throw folks out. Now, I'm going to be voting no on her ruling that I'm out of order talking about specs and bids and who do them and who should do them. It's ridiculous. So uh, I can end for you. First of all, I want the record to show I did not give Councilman Mays a warning. Point of information. What is your point of Didn't view? you rule me out of order for talking about what I just said? No, I didn't. Well, what is being an appeal right. for? Exactly. I said, Mr. Mays, you have mentioned AECOM. I want you to move on to what is relevant. And said so I, I was out of order. order. I and we appealed the ruling. You were out of order. I said, as right. the chair, I am going to keep you on. Wow. You continue. Well, we don't vote no on your ruling. And, and so, so just so you wrong. know, I, I simply said to Mr. Mays, you have talked about AECOM. AECOM is not relevant to this special order that is done and that is finished. We hear about it every meeting. And then he said, I appeal the decision of the chair. I never once warned him. I never once threatened to put him out of the meeting. I simply said, we have heard enough about AECOM. We are here to talk about Goyette Stevens. And as the chair, it is my right to get this meeting on task and to stop this political nonsense. They have been gone since December and we're Point in July. And that's why I, that's where he appealed. He didn't appreciate Point that of information. and he became angry. Say that, say that, What's your point that. of information? You say we ain't political sitting here? Is that your point? I said you became political oh, okay. and you continue Quit to do it every out. meeting. Everybody's and so, just so you know, Mr. President, that's what I did. We've heard about AECOM. He continues to talk about the five of us, and I'm, I'm proud of the fact that I did it. Okay. It wasn't about anything, and I wasn't looking about the fact that I would never have imagined not voting for AECOM would lead us point to... Of, you point don't of get information. A point. No, you point have an appeal. What is your point of information? Why do you try to cut off us off on what we want to talk about? Right. So this is the thing, you guys. The appeal was because he didn't appreciate that I said enough with the AECOM. He's already talked about it. He's beat the horse to death. We get it. Monica Galloway, yes, voted no to AECOM. It is not the reason why we're here today. And so I want you to talk about point the concerns order. that this point communication has point now. What is your point of order, Mr. Mays? If you telling us which way to vote on the appeal or giving us a lecture on what we should talk about. I get to speak last, but you continue to interrupt me, okay, Mr. Ahead. Mays. And so Mr. the President asked me because he wasn't here. You're appealing for his vote, and I'm telling him why I said what I said. But and unfortunately, you, you, get, like to, you get to shape the narrative. And your narrative is wrong. And so, just so you know. And so, the, does the, the decision of the chair stand? Oh. Did you, I'm sorry, did you have to bring on? I have an inquiry. Uh, point of information. Point of order. What's the point of order? 
Didn't she say she was the last to speak? Yeah. He was asking me a question. So, so, so what's, what's happening now? We opening back up the debate? I don't want to debate him. I need to A point of information. Okay. So are you saying you did not leave him out? I did not. I just asked him to go on to do to talk about what we were talking about, Mr. Henry. I didn't realize how do you get him Because he appeals everything. That's how we got there. I didn't say you're out of order. Where are we at? We at a so, so he didn't like that I was saying. Point of order. Is this your order. argumentation? He, the the he did a quick point of information, Stop. not for you to open back up debating if we are all going to debate. Point of information. What's your point of view to the. Um, uh -uh. I, didn't, I didn't hear an appeal, so I have nothing. You didn't hear an appeal. Okay. No. Well, run the tape back. Paul got yeah, it. If that's you're really that serious, Mr. Well, President, well, she should be able to tell um, us what's relevant. So the 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 um there is all in favor of supporting um the ruling of the chair say aye. Aye. Those that oppose, any abstentions? So it so passes. It passes. Hey. It wasn't five votes. It was wasn't. five. Yep. Oh. Dara. The Oh, the same five. five. Okay, so let's go forward with the special order without mentioning who voted to throw A.E. Khan up. Is that what we're going to do? Huh? They have censored the truth. And I ain't going to stop telling the truth on who voted. Okay, um, Davina, what are, what are your, what are your questions? Um, I wanted to say something before you start the special order. I was Don't trying to uh, make a point after Mr. Mr. Mays Garrett's referral about the add-on. And I just wanted to say, um, he wanted me to do a referral. I was just gonna suggest that um, chairs at the beginning of the meeting ask for it. Yeah. Add-ons. Point of order. What's your point of order? If we can't have good record keepers in here for crucial information, what have we got other than a video? Thank you, Mr. Mays. Point of information. And that's What's a your problem. point of information? A point of order is when a rule has been breached. Mm -hmm. That's what, correct, what and the point of order is that we here on an agenda, Miss 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 Fields, and they all off in the summit. Mr. Mays, you don't have the floor. Yeah, Davina, I, 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 I want point to point of order. His no. point of order first. Point of order. Yes, hard to keep the record when people talk over one another. That's correct. So and that's what happened with her interrupting me. Point of order. So, as far as the add-ons, Davina, point of order. She's not talking over folks. Point of order, what rule has we been We are now on an agenda item. <coughs> we passed that. We are on a special order. Thank That's you, why Mr. we Major went right. on we out of the appeal. So order. can you chair it yep. to back to okay. where we had rather than these okay. side? Thank you. Thank you. Out of order, Ms. Mr. Ms. Mr. Donna, if you can you check our staff? Okay. Uh, Mr. Mays, please continue. Thank you. That's where we left off at on the appeal. Everybody from the staff yeah, yeah. to Miss Fields and everybody want to leave and chair and chime in don't have a clue. Let's get you back to the special to order on restaurant. Point of order, <coughs> Madam Chair. Can you warn her? What are you talking about, Davina? If you said something to me. Don't say anything to me. No, let her say something to me. That's staff. No, point Mr. of order. Mr. I have one point of order. order. I mean, He's insulting you. Our staff, he's screaming right. at them. I'm going to ask that we vote to kick him out of this meeting because this is unacceptable behavior. There's a, is that a motion? I'm going to make a motion. Point of order. You motion. can't take the yes. vote to make a motion on the point of order. I appeal the ruling of the chair. If you allow this mess, she That's ain't got the vote. You're not yelling right. at everyone in this room. Point of order. You Mr. got May, the yell to Mr. get May, order. I, don't, I do. I am going to ask you. Mrs. Donahue has heard you, and I'm asking you to stop saying anything to her. She has stopped saying anything. Please proceed with your special Ms. Galloway, order. my response was she made a statement about folks talking. I did a point where she kept talking. Then after that, she kept talking. That's our staff. This ain't, they don't sit at this table with us. We elected 
So whatever you and Miss Worthy want to vote to do, all I'm asking you is don't discriminate. Mr. Let me say this, point of order. No, no point, point of order. I do get a point of order. What's your point of order now? Don't discriminate. It's illegal. That's if right. you got to warn Miss Donahue, warn her. If you got to warn the ones who want to throw out, warn them. Quit discriminating. That's all I ask. Thank you, Mr. Mays. Please now let me proceed with this special order. Thank you, sir. Restoration, a $12 million contract. Fixing grass, driveways, sidewalks, and streets. People tearing up cars, and we won't even settle damage claims. They tearing up their rims. They having to get work done on their car. It's a big issue for me. I'll wait till I can get back folk attention. It's a big issue. It ain't just for me. All those who want to play with this restoration issue, from the mayor's office to the legal department to purchasing to you and others, I'm going to let it be known. As an elected official, I'm going to request a special order. I'm going to talk in plain language. Streets, grass, sidewalks, holes in the street, that's what restoration is. We approved $12 million last year to do restoration. Ain't but three million been spent. Three, four million. So it ain't no hold up on money. The hold up is on staff. And the staff ain't there. Rob Benzie ain't been able to do it properly. That's evident. His staff ain't been able to do it properly. Purchasing ain't been able to do it properly. We didn't have a new purchasing manager. Finance got a new finance person, and it's whack. Because now here we sitting here with a $12 million debacle, and y'all don't want me to say who used to do it. Who used to do it. It's a no-no to say who used to do it and where they disappeared to because folks threw them out. That's a no-no. You can get through our meeting for telling the truth because people protected what decision they made. They want to now talk about a mistake that we heard Rob Benzik make, but it's five people don't want to talk about what I believe is a mistake they made. You can get throughout your elected seat for telling the truth on what you believe. Now let me say this. All bids have been exposed now. They were sealed bids. They open now. Every contractor can see everybody's number. You can bid a penny less now and be the lowest bidder. You can bid two cent less. Everybody can see everybody's numbers. It's highly irregular to put out for bid 11 items and everybody bid on them 11 and then all of a sudden in the 12 o'clock hour after you done stood before this council, that's why I tell y'all, put people under oath. <coughs> Get good information before you vote. The last time I tried to put somebody on the oath, I come in the meeting and was removed by the police. And they don't want me to talk about who did that. Threw me out for putting people on the oath, getting good information on this stuff. State people, local people, where the money go, how is it spent? Put them on the oath. AECOM came seven strong on the oath. Everybody else ran. The administration ran, y'all ran, and y'all don't understand, we got the right to put people on oath and get good information before we vote. Now, you didn't put nobody on oath, didn't get good information, and guess what you got now? A debacle. Who said this, who doing that? Now, this council want to know, Mr. Woodson, who made the decision? If I make a motion to put people in the oath and bring them up one by one, this council, in my opinion, from what I experienced, won't meet. Get mad when you put folk on the oath and can put anybody on the oath from the administration to the state of Michigan to get to the bottom of this. If this council is an engine, if this council put in the time and question people and do the city's business rather than argue and fuss trying to outclass me. That's what it seemed like. People trying to come in here and make points off of me. 
and I'm here to work and gonna work for the people of the first ward and gonna fight everybody who try to silence my voice. Let me say this. You almost ain't got no choice but to be at this back out. You know why and what that means when you bid it back out. Now I talked earlier about the season. I watched the film from this last council meeting and the discussion like a football player watch a football film or a basketball player watch a basketball film. You know what I seen on the film? This is what I seen. I seen Miss Galloway shutting me down and trying to make a point. And I'm gonna tell you what the point was. She had Rob Benzik up there. I said, if your department can't cut grass, can't fix the streets, maybe you should be fired. Miss Galloway came behind me and tried to prove that the season ended for restoration in December. The plants was closed. This is what she said, the plants was closed. So by us making the move we did, we didn't hurt restoration. Her point was, it was winter time. Guess what my point is? You could have had this bid done in January. The plants opened up in April. April, May, January, February, March, April, May, June. We in July. That ain't winter time. We dead in the middle of the season, Miss Galloway. We done lost four or more months because of decisions made. I heard, I watched the tape. You can't get out of this, Miss Galloway, because it was winter time. What you gonna do with April? Anyway, very much. I have to say I'm all for April, May, June, July. Mr. Mays. We on restoration. Do you have a resolution? Because we're here Say for what? resolution. No, we Our on a special order. We don't get there. And if we don't, we Call ain't get there before. Mr. Point Mays. of order. You're you out of order. Time, you're not point of order. order. Point of order. What is you your out of order. order. And I'm wanting. I am the chair. And that I'm going to hold you accountable to make sure that you are out of order. You out of order. I'm warning you. And if you can't warn me. I'm warning. Somebody going to warn you. You're not the chair. I can't. I appeal the ruling of the chair that you can't be warned. There's an appeal of decision of the chair. Is there a second? Yes, there's a second. There is a decision. Let's pull out the rules, you guys. Do anybody have their rules to run through for y'all? Because I don't know why you can't be warned. You don't want to say the table can't be out or it can't be warned. Mr. Mays, I'm let waiting me just on you. Read it. I am going to read it. You can't be warned. Chair can't be out of order. Y'all show through me out when I was the chair. Well, I, I tell you is, it interrupted me on the special your, order. I wouldn't care if I was giving a certificate to a high school well, student. Well, well, it's my special right. order. And you keep interrupting. Yeah. And this is a serious matter. It ain't no five minutes matter. Y'all so stayed in here at seven, just, eight o'clock. Uh, I'm going to read two things. For what you want. According to Mr. Davis, Let's not, let's be cordial. And I am well, going we to be, you shouldn't be saying anything, really. 1.2, the president or chair, to you, Mr. David, because you're you being very rude. You better watch how you're talking to me. You're being rude to me. You've been rude to everybody. I'm not. And by the way, the one who controls this meeting is the president, not you. You just chairing a committee. The president, the one who causes whole body to keep it in order. Oh, and well, that's why easy don't we not to because I know the rules. Why don't let we let him do that? Thank you, Mr. President. 1.2. The president or chair presides shall is required to decide all questions arising under these rules yes, and general parliamentary practice subject to appeal. While on all measures subject to appeal, you know what that means, don't you? Mr. Mays, we're in that. But you said you can rule me out of order. While on all no, questions said, of order, while on Mr. Mays, you don't, Mr. Point Mays. Of information. Have you, have point you heard of that? Information. Point of information. Isn't it a fact you said you couldn't be ruled out of order? I said you can't rule me out of order. You're not the chair. That's what you said. You said nobody can. You're the chair. I said you can't. Okay, so I didn't control this me. Oh, we know that rule. That is not true. So 29.7.
Any person who is called to order shall thereupon yield the floor until the president shall have determined whether he... Every question of order shall be decided by the pre president subject to an appeal and, and council person to the council. If the person so engages in presentation shall be determined by the city council to be out of order, that person shall be permitted to continue at the same meeting except, except I don't think that's the right one. Which one? That's public. That's public. Yeah. And participation of the public. We got I'm sorry, you guys. The, the attorney is is sharing which one. She ain't in this appeal. It's she your is. turn right now to speak and then open the floor up to us, Miss Galloway. Don't do wrong. You the, I'm going to warn you again. Man. Point of order. You out of order. Which one you is supposed to speak and, and then open it up for us. Uh, okay. This ain't nothing between the mayor and the city attorney and Gil president. This is us. It doesn't say a lot. No. Yeah. Now we waiting on you to speak. It is the... While on all questions, of, it is the duty of the chair to first decide the question. It is the privilege of any member to appeal from the decision. If it's seconded, then the decision, the chair states his decision and that it has been appealed from and then stated the question thus. Shall the decision of the chair stand? The chair shall then, without leaving the chair, um, state the reasons for the decision. And while... And, and which it is open to debate. The appeal shall be determined, determined by the uh, majority of the council elect. Uh, Ms. Willard, that's, there, there is one that... Point of order. What's your point of order, Mr. Will Pitt? you get on with this? State why you decided it, state whatever, and then open up the flow. That's where we at. It's you made a decision right. based Mays, on what you Mr. think. Mays, you know, ain't that no, the right no, order? There point is of order. One. I'm well, sorry. then let's proceed. You I said know. we were wasting time. It is, yeah. No, but there's one that we says only the chair or the rule. president, whoever And then don't know what she ruled. Mr. Mays, why don't you go ahead and talk? You I don't want argument. to. It's your then argument stop first. Then stop talking. I'm going to do a point of order. Oh. We waiting on you. You rule. I don't have to, I can say point of order all day long, and you recognize We waiting on you. We can't the last You should know this if you root and poke out all this, saying what they can and can't do. Just making it up. You're in a world of reproach of your chair. Oh, I found it. I found it. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you found a chair. It's in order of order. debate. Nope, yep, it says I am. The chair or presiding officer has a responsibility and duty to enforce these rules and sanctions for the purpose of maintenance of order. Only the chair or presiding officer may determine and rule on who or what is in or out of order. Violations of this rule shall re result in removal from the meeting. No, Mr. May, are you listening? Only the Point chair. Order. Don't say nothing. Let Mr. Her Davis, and then we'll only the chair or presiding order. officer Force. may determine and rule on who or what is in or out of order. I apologize for the delay, but that's on page 19 of 23 of the council rules. So that's why Mr. Mays cannot call me out of order. He is not chairing this meeting. Madam Chair. Mr. Mays. That's your argument. You read one rule and ain't putting it in the context that anybody can appeal a ruling of the chair. You got another thing coming if you read one section of many rules and think you can rule people out of order. Only you. You can interrupt people. You can be out of order and we can't appeal you. Point of information. Point of information, Mr. Mayor. You asking so, yourself. I ain't chairing. Well, Don't turn the chair over to me. Mr. You said Mays, point, well, of point of information. I stop. Proceed. Mr. Mays, show us in the rules where you can rule the chair out of order. Other than appeal. Madam Chair, did we interrupt oh. you when you was arguing? I don't have to stop doing my argument to show you something you didn't already read. Oh. Are you listening? Okay. Are you shaking your head and talking out loud? You out of order again. This is your third one. You can't sit and let us make our arguments and be quiet when your turn is up. That's what this problem is. Okay. You read the relevant rule. If a chair make a decision 
to rule somebody out of order and we say, look, you out of order for interrupting us when we got the flow. And you say, you can't because I'm the chair. I'm the only one. We can appeal that decision. Because you can't interrupt no more than a chair. You can't interrupt and break the rules when somebody got the flow no more than nobody else. And you're doing it repeatedly. It's not isolated that you interrupt it. Now, you might be mad because of... You might be mad because we on a high-profile special order about restoration. You might not agree with the content of what I'm saying, but I got the flow. You abusing the chair and you out of order to keep interrupting folk. You interrupting an appeal, you interrupting all the time, and it ain't going to go away. You're not going to abuse the chair and interrupt me, Mr. Davis, or nobody else. And when you do, and we say you're out of order, and you say, I'm the only one who can determine that, the appeals say that we can determine it, if we can get five. So you can be ruled out of order, and it can be determined in an appeal. You looking for rules that you said the chair can't be ruled out of order. That's kind of what you said. And I say, yes, you can. And when you say you can't, I appeal it. Now you have searched the record for a ruling that a chair can't be out of order. You might not get there until five or more understand what's happening, but you can get there. And I'm going to tell you how you got there, because if you think you can't be ruled out of order, then why was I took out of here by police? Why was I took out of here and I was the chair? So that should tell you from what y'all already done did with me. Now you the chair and you can't be out of order? It depends on the fab five. The same five that voted to throw AE time out. The same five. So if you got the crew with you, if you got Kate Fields, Griggs, Worthing, and Gara, maybe you insulated. You can interrupt us, you can be rude, you can cut us off, and you got five that won't throw you out. But I tell you what, keep throwing me out and discriminate. You saying five. That's why we over there in New Black's court. Discrimination is unlawful for race, gender, wards. That's what our charter said. So you wrong. The president or the chair can be just as out of order as a member, and we can call you to order and say, let us proceed. Because all your interrupting and telling us what we can say out of our mouth is prolonging this meeting. I'll be voting no on your ruling that the chair can't be out of order. And everybody who done voted to throw me out and been out and should be voting that the chair can be out of order. I'll appeal the ruling when you say, can't nobody rule you out of order. I just want to say for, for my colleagues, you guys, look, we have been in this meeting. We started at 435. Councilman Mace has monopolized the whole meeting. Everything you're talking about, what is your point of information? Didn't public speak? Ain't others still spoke? Mr. Mace, are you sure I have monopolized the whole meeting? Thank you. You have. Um, and so I, what I'm saying to my colleagues, we have two items on the agenda. We're here to talk about the fact that a bid or a resolution was approved, and now there has been found to be some errors made. As a, as a legislative body, we are here to see what we can do to rectify this situation. Point of information. What is your point of information? Didn't you hear Ms. Worthen say big rigging? And didn't that come Mr. up before Mays, I spoke? I'm just asking Mr. a quick Mays, point of this information. Is not, that's, that's not what I'm yeah, saying. There's been a lot put on the we had, Mr. Mays has, has not talked about anything to rectify. Everything has been about what we can <laughs> say is point the reason. Information. What is your point Did of you information? Did you hear me say it should have to go back out to be? Did you hear me say it should have to go back out to be? Don't lie to these people. It's on record. I said it should go back out to be. You didn't hear that or did you? Then Mr. Mays... I am. Well, you keep interrupting me, so what you want to do is debate. You're giving untruths. Mr. Mays. I don't like lies. None of your other colleagues have spoken. Not one. And you can say whatever well, you want to, but in this special order. Count? No, that was an appeal. He He's hasn't spoken person. on this. And so my point is, you guys, I'm not saying that he can't rule me out of order. 
I didn't do anything to Mr. Mays. He's making the ability to chair this meeting and move on to do what we need to do virtually impossible. And I am willing for the president to control the meeting if you want, Mr. Davis. Whatever bro. it will do, Mr. Um, Winfrey, President Winfrey, President Winfrey, Winfrey for this meeting to move, it is not well, about yeah. me. And so and at this point, deal. I you yield the chairing of this meeting to the president. Okay, then I will draw the appeal if we have to vote on it. Let's roll. Let's proceed. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. We're on the restoration. Thank you, sir. Madam, Mr. President, it was a special order. If I can continue and wrap this up. Go ahead. Look, it's a lot of moving parts to this. You done had people charge people with bid rigging, but she must didn't hear that. And I done said, I'm not going that far. I done said, but it might be fair to put it back out to bid, because everybody done seen everybody's numbers. I'm knowing from my research this weekend and talked to contractors and everybody. Well, guess what? Who made the decision? I even talked about asking them under subpoena. You might have caught the tail end of that. Who made the decision to go from 11 items to four? Now, the purchasing director was here last week, a manager. Everybody putting it on Rob Benson. Rob Benson. He didn't dispute it was him. Rob Benson. Is Rob Benson here now anyway? Is anybody from purchasing here anywhere? Through you, Mr. President, to the city attorney. Ms. Wheeler, have y'all met on this today and was you in a meeting at four o'clock in the mayor's office? I wasn't in a meeting today. Do you have any knowledge about this? I think you need to address that with the with the administration. No, I'm addressing it through you. I can't answer your question. Okay, then just say you don't know nothing about this. I can tell you I, I can't answer your question. No, I'm going to ask you a direct question. Do you have knowledge about these contracts legally? I'm not answering the question. Okay, then I would make a motion that we subpoena um, anybody and everybody from the administration who talks to me like Ms. Wheeler and start with her and let's see if we can get outside counsel to subpoena her. Because when they get too Point big for their bridge, that's a motion. Is there a motion on the floor? That's correct. Thank you. It's that we start subpoenaing everybody involved with this contract from legal to purchasing to Gilchrist to the mayor and to uh, everybody who don't want to answer questions as we sort through this like Ms. Wheeler and start with her. And if we need outside counsel, so be it. There's a motion on the floor to subpoena several people. Is there any support for that motion? Is there any support for that motion? I'm not is there any support? Yeah, madam. Just wait, 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 wait. Right. My phone. All right. Not just Mr. Woodson, but Mr. Woodson and everybody else now. If I hear a burst out again, you're going to leave here. Thank you. Now that's your warning and your only one. We don't have to do this. We've been here long enough. Let's move on. Let's stop the foolishness. Thank you. Any discussion on yeah, this? Yeah, Mr. President. I think it's ridiculous when you got a city attorney who's supposed to guide us legally as a co-equal branch of government refusing to give us information or even any knowledge that she know what's going on. Talking about talk to the administration. I think that's a lot of nerve. And so now I'm going to see, because I asked for folks to be here and they ain't here. When you dealing with $12 million worth of restoration and they don't have the courtesy to send purchasing up, they don't have the courtesy to send Rob Benzik up, the city attorney saying, I'm not going to answer you in so many words, it then took it to a whole nother level. How the hell can we figure out what's going on and people won't show up to talk to us and those who show up that's working with the administration won't answer our questions. So I wouldn't care if we had to get an outside attorney. I think this is a lot of nerve. So, yeah, I'm going to vote in favor of this motion because if we got to vote on multi-million dollar contracts and can't get answers on who making what decisions and why, I'm voting in the blind. Our greatest power is to ask questions 
And if we can't get him here, then we got power to subpoena him here, them in this room. I'm very disappointed right now in what I'm hearing from the only representative of the administration. I know how this city working, and I'm going to tell it in a minute, uh, but I ain't going to be shortchanged by people boycotting a council meeting. Uh, and I reserve the rest of my time. So we get twice. Uh, I kind of have a question to y'all. Uh, subpoenas are okay as long as it doesn't further delay the going of contract of restoration. This is just more delay to get the restoration done. The people in the residents are getting upset. Everybody's getting tired of their yards are in shambles. Now, where's the watch? Point of order, Mr. President. You tell him the question is pushing paper at me. Oh, okay. Mr. Mazes is, is out of order. I was just dressing it. Uh, you didn't turn it up. That was this guy. Yeah, I told you. Okay, uh, Mr. Green, go ahead. Anyhow, I, I don't want to see us delay this restoration contract any more than what it's already getting delayed. It got delayed last week because you're bringing in Steve. We've got to stop this. The, the residents of the city want their lawns fixed and their streets. You need to quit putzing around with this stuff. <coughs> I'm fine with the subpoenas, but I don't want them to delay one hour restoration. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. President, um, I, I supported it for uh, debate to discuss it. I think that the, the thing that I'm concerned about is this isn't the first bid that we've had. This is not the first contract. We've been having questions about contracts since they started. I think that what this community um, does not need is a ploy because there may be some friction. We're here to cause a resolution to what's being done here. And I just don't think that that's happening. Whether the administration is here right now or not, there are some things that we as a legislative body can make decisions on right now. And so all of this is wasting time and, and I want to get into what the ordinance says to see if we have the ability to. And so if, if, if it, it is the pleasure of this body to put people under oath, I am willing to do that. Because what I did learn from Mr. Pocan is that the contract has to be submitted to them before it can really be submitted to the contractor. Point of information. What's the one we voted on submitted to them? Do you know? No, it wasn't, Mr. Mays. It wasn't. Um, but but the point of the matter is, there is in, because of the, the complexity and the difference in this, this is not like other bids that we bid out. This water crisis has changed the dynamic. Normally, we don't have to experience getting money from third parties, such as the state or the federal government. So there are a lot of checks and balances that are grafted into this that this council can take advantage of that we haven't taken advantage of. But what I won't do is play a part in a political tugging of war in an effort to hold this community hostage. I am willing to do it for good information, but I won't do it because maybe somebody's not playing nice with me right now, and so I'm really angry, and I'm going to raise a bunch of fuss. I'm not doing that, but I'm willing to support this council in whatever they decide. Thank you, Mr. President. Councilman Deere. Yeah, I think uh, definitely it would help the city council a lot if we didn't have members from the administration to answer questions that we have clearly. I, I agree with that. However, I think... Uh, uh, a lot of them might not want to be here because when they do come here, I see them get yelled at and screamed at by council members and from the public. So maybe they don't care, they don't want to get targeted. And I don't blame them for that. I don't blame them for that. Point of information. Do you think I want to be here getting yelled and how No, I don't think anybody wants okay. to be here, ranging from council members mm -hmm. to residents to anybody who shouldn't have to deal with to how hostile the politics gets here at City Hall. I think it's definitely very toxic. Mm -hmm. I think that, uh, uh, I think we definitely do. So need <laughs> members of administration here to answer questions. We have their contracts uh, in front of us, and that ranges from all departments. Uh, and I think it's definitely some departments we haven't seen here. Uh, so for this, I would I would support making 
motions to require them to be here. Um, however, I wouldn't want to make a subpoena motion right now for this specific one due to the fact that it would delay restoration. Point of information. If we approve to be here and they show, are you opposed to putting them under oath for good information? No. Okay. No, no. But, uh, but right now, just the fact that it may, if we do wait on this, it tends to delay um, restoration of the Flint. And also, uh, as mentioned earlier, if we have to hire outside attorneys, that also, in my opinion, waste extra taxpayer dollars that we shouldn't have to waste. Uh, that's just how I believe, but I do agree that they should be here, but the subpoena route right now is not the best option for me. So, Point of information. Ain't y'all got an outside attorney now? Yeah, I think it's a waste of taxpayer dollars, no doubt. Thank you for pointing that out. Um, so, Representative Seppelet, the discussion on this motion. Yeah, Mr. President, if nobody else had nothing, I'll do my second round. Through you, Mr. President, to Joe Parks from Goyette. Mr. Parks, can you bring us up to speed? Y'all was in a 4 o'clock emergency meeting. Point of order. This is What's your point? Mr. President, um, I am asking that if we hear from Mr. Parks, we can hear from him in the special order, but not on whether we should call a subpoena. We are talking about subpoena in the administration and anybody involved. And so I'm, 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 I'm just asking that Mr. Parks would not be a part of that right now. Okay. Point of order. What's your point? Anybody can call anybody up. It's in the room. And we can make our point the way we want to make it. And we are in a special order, and it's a motion in that special order. So how are you going to rule whether or not we can hear from the person at hand? Now you rule. Well, I want to understand. Uh, you're using this apart to make the point as to why we should. That's my intention. I don't see, I don't see a problem with that. Did nobody overrule you? Mr. Park, sorry about that. Um, tell us and bring us up to speed on this. Point of order, Mr. President. So, no, point of information. Mr. President, respectfully. We heard Mr. Parks on the radio today. We read a letter. Well, we read a letter. And so I'm asking that we would dispose of this and hear from Mr. Parks as long as we want to. Because he said, tell point us where. Point of order, Mr. So President. That's I'm, not no, a written I'm, I'm not the point of information. Point and so, of order. Mr. President, all I'm saying is how she long is he... She's using the point of information to get the flow in Point of information. Speech. How long is does he expect for Mr. Parks to be able to make the point? Mr. Parks will decide that. I just called on him. Yeah, I just called on him. Mr. President, may I proceed? That's what was happening before. Mr. Parks. You can have a seat there, sir. You can have a seat. Mr. Bush is good enough. You can have a seat. Let me say this. Go ahead, Mr. President. Did y'all have. Mix, 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 mix. Did y'all have a four o'clock meeting with the administration? We did, okay. Can you bring me up to speed on where you think we might be or what we'll hear because they ain't here? I'm going to say this really hey, simply. Hey, excuse me. Hold on. Point of order. Okay. They own you, man. Can you? We trying to get votes. You ready for me? I'm ready. We were awarded in, in 2018 for phase five a contract not to exceed $11.7 million. Right now, we have four, about 4,750 addresses. Point of order, Mr. President. Don't you think it would be respectful if my colleagues would really pay attention? Yes. There are several moving parts here, and all of them are going against Goya Mechanical. We were issued a contract not to exceed $11,700,000. We have enough addresses to do about four and a half million of those. There are another 7,800 addresses that we should be doing right now under last year's contract. We should be doing that right now. Because we only have 4,750 addresses, we are limited to the number of crews. I can't put crews in your zone. I can't put crews in several of your wards because the addresses were not given to me. So if anybody watching this isn't having their work done, that is the reason. The administration is not giving us the addresses to do that work. On top of that, those, the balance of those addresses were added to this next phase, the phase six work. So phase five addresses that were not given to us and phase six addresses were bid on. We were the lowest bidder for that round of bidding. 
we had a bid of $3.7 million. The next bidder was non-responsive, it was the city, by comparison. Third bidder was W.T. Stevens. Their bid came in just north of $3.9 million. Funny, some, some, some math was done that I don't know how they did it. Our contract that was brought to you was for $12.1 million. You approved it unanimously. That's where we stood until today. I was called into a meeting to go visit with Mr. Gilchrist, the mayor, and several other people on the administration, and I was called into what they called an emergency meeting. I showed up to that meeting today and every contractor that bid on this project was present. They're telling us they are rebidding this job that we successfully won with now, uh, with, uh, after everything I just explained to you, all this unfair treatment, which is what I'm calling, has happened. Um, and that's where we stand right now. And so now there's a, there, potentially there's a rebid. When we could be doing this work right now, we're under contract for this work right now. There's been, we've had nothing uh, besides verbal conversations telling us you can't do anything over 4,800 addresses. We have 7,800 addresses that are in each one of your wards that we could be working on today. And I compel you to urge the people within the administration to just give us those addresses, let us finish that work, and then award us with the $3.7 million that we were low on for phase six. We have enough work, we have enough money in our phase five contract to do 9,000 houses. 9,000, and we're currently under contract to, to do us, and we can get those 9,000 houses done. Everything after that, we can worry about that later. Yeah, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. Park. I'm sorry. sorry. With with the with the 3.7 with the 3.7 with the 3.7 million dollars added to the, our our phase five contract, we can get 13,000 houses done. Mr. President, I put that motion on the floor because I requested people to be here. I tabled it from last meeting when we found out about the 12 million dollar debacle to today. They ain't here. I knew about the emergency meeting. I know that it's wrong for the legal department to say I'm not going to answer you. So this council can do what they want, Mr. Garrett. Y'all can send a letter, you can vote down subpoenas, and then we can wait again. You set a special meeting for tomorrow or the next day, and I'll show up. Restoration and contracts is important. I wouldn't care if y'all vote to call them, show up, meet with them one-on-one, -on -one, two two-on-two, but I'm already knowing stuff you don't know. I want to meet in an open meeting in front of the public discussing fixing these streets, grass, sidewalks, and I want to resolve this and keep it moving. Now, you say you want to hear from them, you'll put them under oath to get to the truth, but you want subpoenas. Well, where they at? Maybe you got enough pool to get on the phone and get some of them here. They know they were asked to come here. This is very important. You ain't got DPW, Benzik, you ain't got purchasing, you ain't got finance, and y'all selling for that? I won't be a part of it. My job is to serve the people, not to protect administrators. My job is to serve the people on what they want, not to be... Um, catering to council people who don't like me and don't want to vote with me. My job is if they don't show up, subpoena them and put them under oath. Whatever y'all job is and y'all politics is, you can think it ain't politics. I know politics. That's what Michigan State taught me. That's what I'm a professional in. You're a school teacher, Ms. Worthen. I'm a certified political scientist from Michigan State, one of the best in the state, and have proved it over 30 years. So keep laughing. But you think you ain't a politician? I'll see how you vote. I don't care if you vote for them to come up here and talk to us or not. They should have been talking. And if you don't get good information, you'll vote wrong again. $12 million a debacle being it out and you don't want to ask people questions, let's see what you do. God bless the city of Flint. I'm going to continue to fight for the people regardless of who get in the way. Councilwoman Fields. Well, I also would like 
to hear the answers to some of these questions and the administrative <coughs> staff is not here. What Mr. Uh, Parks had to say was very interesting. But regarding a subpoena, I too do not want to hold up any restoration. By the time all that went through the months to do Board of information. Ain't the contracts been voted on and in place? With subpoenas, that restoration uh, would not get done in a timely fashion. One last say, point of information. You saying subpoenas holds up contracts in this town? Mr. President, I believe a point of information is being used to interrupt me and to gain the floor, and I would appreciate if you would address that. Okay. I thought you asked a relevant question. Uh, I don't feel the question is relevant. Okay. I believe as far as subpoenas are concerned, we found out how useless uh, most subpoenas are during the investigative hearings. Um, and I feel that the only way a subpoena is really useful is when the Department of Justice is issuing these subpoenas. And I just have a little tingle. I think the Department of Justice may already be well aware of this bidding issue and are probably preparing their own subpoenas. So they actually have the authority to do something once they have a subpoena, where City Council really does not. So I will not be voting for a subpoena. Thank you. Mr. President, thank you. Um, I just want to say that um, in, in looking at the ordinance for bidding, um, one of the concerns, because we're talking about good information, but one of the things that was shared is that the resolution that we approved, that it was more than what the state would pay. That was one of the things that was said last week, that it could very well go over what the state was. Um, in speaking to Mr. Pocan, he was saying that he can't say that that's the case because the contract reads up to. And so far, they haven't really gone up to the up to, which is why we saw in previous phases where when we asked about the administration not coming before us to say that they had added, Mr. Benzik shared, well, it was up to. They still had money left. Mm -hmm. They finished their addresses. They still had money left. So therefore, we could still give them more addresses, and it wouldn't change the scope of the contract. Um, and so for those of you, I had the girls make copies. Who can do that, the council or the administration? Well, I'm the administration oh, not did we. that. You said we're well, we I was going to read it, but the point is, um, Mr. Park brought up a very valid question. We approved a twelve point, I mean, eleven point eight six four million dollar contract um, for all of Phase Five, and yet the new contract that came before us included some Phase Five. Now, I did try to ask Mr. Benzik to explain why they didn't get all the phase fives like, like we um, um, believed. And there was something that he told me that I still don't understand. But the reality is they could finish all of phase five based on the resolution that we approved on 7-9 of 18. With that being said, we wouldn't even be discussing it. There would have been no time lapse. That All of phase five would have been completed and then phase six which is, I guess, being worked on, wouldn't even be an issue. And so I think that as a council, we should be able to ensure that this resolution is enforced. And then this other thing that we're doing is not even relevant because we just need to maintain the integrity of the city and, the, and making sure that we have the trust of the public. And so this contract alone should eliminate a lot of what we are experiencing now and would get the restoration done for our constituents that have been waiting for some of them two years Absolutely. their restoration has and so um, I, I, I am going to be reading um, a section out of the ordinance I don't think that we should rebid it I think that we should honor the original contract that was approved in July of 2018 and see where we go from there that's my resolution to what we may be experiencing 
Uh, I heard Mr. Parker a while ago say that <coughs> our economic development director is managing our contractors. And, uh, to use no term I've heard around here, I believe he ought to stay in his own lane. I don't. Why would we have an economic development director making a good amount of money directing contractors? I don't understand that. Are you through AE comma? Uh, my bad. <laughs> I said that I couldn't resist. My free card. Um, That's one of my free cards. Well, um, um, let, me oh, yield, let me yield to you. Okay. I'm, a woman, uh, worthy. I'm in favor of what Ms. Galloway said. I am not sure how that works because, once again, we signed a contract and the administration on their word alone said you can't finish phase five to Goya. How does this work? How do we make administration honor the contract that both administration and council signed? I just want to know how, how we can move forward. Um, and for Mr. Mays, bid rigging, just want to uh, read here some definitions. Uh, bid manipulation. I, I'm going to say what I want to say. No, you're not. Listen, let me tell you what's going on. We're, 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 we're on a motion. We're on a motion uh, uh, that's regarding a subpoena. And it should be germane to that. It well, I'm sorry, and but so she just when you just say, got to say what I she had to say. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying, when you say you're going to say what you want to say, that's, that's, that's saying a bit much. Um, excuse me, Mr. President. I'd like to respond. All I'm asking you to do is we're, we're, we're on a motion talking about a subpoena. So it only it only applies to me and it doesn't no, apply it to anyone else? No. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. I don't. I appeal the ruling of the chair. I said it applies to everybody. You appeal okay. that ruling? You say one thing and you do another. I appeal the ruling of the chair. He's telling me that I cannot speak on what I would like to speak, and I'm appealing the ruling of the chair. That's not what I said. That's what you said I said. I said... Can I continue, Mr. President, speaking yeah, on As what long as you don't say, you'll say what you want to say. Nobody around this table is going to say what you want to say. I, I highly disagree with you right now. Mr. Mays got to say everything he wanted to say. What Mr. Mays was saying, in my opinion... It's always your I opinion. I appeal the ruling of... What, I'm not ruling, say that I, what ruling are you appealing? That you're not allowing me to continue to speak along, along the lines that I would like to. Oh, there's an appeal on the floor. Is there a support for that appeal? I support that. Okay. Um, Council, my, my colleague once has, has made a blanket statement that she'll say what she wants to say. No, she won't. Not as long as I chair this meeting, and nobody else will. And I would like to apply that across. Now, if she's saying that she's going to talk about this appeal, the things that she's going to be saying in germane to the appeal, <coughs> then she can say what she wants to say. But to have a blanket statement that she'll say what she wants, oh, no, she won't. And nobody else will either. Uh, now, Councilwoman uh, Worthy, go ahead. I would love that passion, Mr. President, be directed toward the one that makes mm -hmm. us sit here and listen to AECOM, who has no relevance. But every time we say we would like him to be on point, I disagree with you. Mr. Mays, can you go from this point to this point? Oh, it, it matters. It, it's, it goes along with it. I totally agree with Mr. Mays. And yet, I would like to speak. Every time I'd like to speak, I get shut down. And, and I don't care who it is. Maybe some of you don't want to hear what I have to say. And I, and I think that's what it is. I'm going to be quite honest. Uh, so when I said I'll say what I want to say, I meant please don't shut me down. What I have to say is relevant, and I'd like to say it. I'd like to say, Mr. President, that we've had discussions about this before. I believe you do give Mr. Mays preferential treatment. I do believe Mr. Mays is allowed to talk about anything he wants to say, even though it isn't remotely related to the job at hand, and I think you appear to be unaware that you give Mr. Mays preferential treatment. 
I think that what Ms. Worthing was attempting to say was relevant, and she wasn't any more off the mark than Ms. Galloway was or Mr. Mays was in talking about this subpoena. Everybody else has gone all around the block with it, and yet you only stop her. And I believe, I believe that's discriminatory. Any others, uh, Council? Yeah, I think this is the same situation as earlier, uh, where the chair actually didn't make a ruling when they, um, I don't think he ruled, I think he was saying it. I still think you had the right to speak um, and make it relevant. I don't think that he was really out of order. So I don't see how you could, I get, what, I get what you wanted to say, how you wanted to say what you want to say and then make it relevant. However, you never got the opportunity. So I never seen you rule her out of order. So I, I don't know how to vote on an appeal of the chair with the actual motion was to make. I do, I do think you have the right to say what you want to say. Yep. But I also don't think a ruling was made. To vote on so for that I'm, so uh that's that's my statement so i guess i but that's it yeah and i, I think miss worthy and i i know he, i think he just wanted to make the point of you're not going to just say what you want to say but he wasn't saying that you couldn't say what you were it was the wording okay. and so I, I didn't gather that. He just wanted to make a point where, no, you're not going to say what you want to say. But it wasn't saying that that technically what you wanted to say. It was the perception behind when we say that. I'm going to say whatever I want to say. That's what I gathered. So I thought that he was going to let you finish what you were saying. Just in the wording. So just so. You've got Councilwoman Wifey Carter and then Councilman Davis. I just, I'll just withdraw that if I'm allowed to continue. I would, sure. Do, do you still want to? I do. I do. I'm not just it's kind of a waste say. of the time. I, I, I would she draw. Okay, she's okay. withdrawing. That way we can just okay. go. Okay. okay. Proceed. I don't want all of them, Ms. Burgess. What's your point? I don't want them blaming me for wasting time alone. I see a lot. So do you understand that a withdrawal on a motion might require a vote? She if there's If there's no objection. Is there, is, there, is, is there any objections to the council on the uh, Yeah, I got an objection. Okay, then we'll, we'll vote on it. Okay. <laughs> All who... Uh, uh, Point of order. Yeah, we still in discussion. Point of Mr. President. Yes, sir. I'll call the question. There's a, there's a call to question. Point of order. Is that how we going to do in the middle of discussion when yeah. people speak? Yeah. 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 There's, there's been several that have spoken on it. Not all of us. Well, there's a call to question. There's a call to question. I second it. You call point of order. How could she get the right. flow back in the spoke to make a motion and you got people in the right. rules who ain't spoke? If you allow that right. before we can speak a first time that she can get the floor and make a motion, right. I'm going to appeal that. Okay. You so can't do that. Me, me, she done she spoke once. Right. You called on a, a second time and we ain't spoke first yet. And then she called me and I, I recognize her. I'm, I'm calling the point of order. Okay, right. She shouldn't be recognized until you first say have everybody who uh, haven't uh, spoke. Uh, now, I don't want to be so that so that we can so that we can we can expedite time. Uh, no, no, no. Let's let these other folks go ahead. Well, and I was, I was just going to, um, you know, piggyback off of what Councilwoman Galloway said. Kind of like, you know, we heard where you were going, but kind of tone that down. You can say what you want to say, but, you know, kind of like what Councilwoman Galloway said. You know, you can't, you can't come out and say that someone was illegally bidding, you know, the process or whatever. I mean, you don't know that for sure. You don't know that for sure. So, so it wouldn't be right to say that. So. Thank you, Mr. President. This is what I like to say to my colleague, Councilwoman Dalloway. When you're in chair, you chair to me, but when you order, I, would you get, can you just listen? I'm not attacking you. Just listen. Just listen. I want him to finish. I want him to finish so that we can proceed. Point of information. Point of question is called. Yeah. Discussion. No, I thought she called the question. No, he said no to that. It was, although it was moved and seconded, and it was and, and the chair, point of order, the chair. 
stated that there was a call to the question and in our rules normally when you once it's stated by the chair it is official. But I was fine with the Mr. Chair. We just saying this is what I was trying to say. It's very frustrating. When Councilwoman Galloway was chair, it's a difference between a chair and a president. The president should be the ultimate referee. When this thing gets out of control, chaotic and hostile, the president should always reel this thing in. Just as you was calling Miss Worthen in, you should always, and you're absolutely right, Miss Worthen. You should treat everybody the same. Not to say you wasn't, but any time you get out of control, if I'm president, I don't care who chairing, it's my job to keep this meeting at bay in unity. And that's what needs to be done at all times when I'm done. Ms. President, yeah, Ms. President, the reason I did this because we heard Monica Galloway and others humming and howling about waste of time. <coughs> A waste of time. Let's vote. And I didn't have nothing to do with all this time with the state folks. So that's my point, what I wanted to make. I'm going to be voting yes in favor of the ruling of the chair. Because if I can't say what I want and they hop in the end point or whatever, point of this, point of that, I don't listen at them. Very hypocritical. Very double standard. And on this point end, of order. Mr. Mays said, let's vote, and then he continued to keep talking. So what if I got the floor? We're, we're voting. The, the I don't call the vote. Right. Are we going to allow uh, Councilwoman Worthy to withdraw Correct. her appeal? Thank you. Mr. President, I got the floor. She interrupted me with a point of order talking about I said point vote. Of order, I can say Mr. whatever President. I want to. Mr. President, he made a statement. And then he said, let's vote and set back. I'm and not then as soon as you were doing that, chair. he continued on. He said, I we waste the time. So Mr. President, Ms. President, I can do that. I'm trying to show everybody where we at. Ms. Galloway and them whines to death about points of information, point of order, when we do it. They ain't no different than nobody else. That's all I'm trying to make. They done did a stupid appeal that I'm going to vote. Yes, on the ruling. I want to withdraw it after they done went around. I want to sit quiet because they just hypocritical. All of that discussion about something that didn't. No, when I finish, then if he don't say nothing, we'll vote on the appeal. And I'm going to be voting no. I'm going to be voting yes to uphold the ruling of the chair and no against her. Does Mr. Mays realize that we're in a discussion on her her, 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 her drawing? Her thank you, sir. Thank you. Let me say this. Mm -hmm. She made a motion to withdraw the appeal. Yes. And it was seconded that she could withdraw it. No, well, it wasn't no I, second. What, what you said, was there any objections? I said, yeah, that put us back in the appeal discussion, not on the withdrawal, because it was no... Does Mr. Mays realize that Mr. Garrett seconded that uh, withdrawal of the appeal, according to the record? Well, she, uh, Sorry? Somebody she did. Oh, he seconded the call for so I want you to wrap, so, wrap, wrap up so that we can move on. We're wasting time. Why would it get to me, we wasting time? But all these folks who put the appeal ain't wasting time. That's my point. Quit singling me out as a time waster. Single some of these folks out for once in y'all life as time wasters. It ain't funny to me, Griggs. It ain't funny to me, Gary. I sit here quietly. And the minute I start talking, here go that old stereotype, time-wasting stereotype. Who does that repeatedly? Who wants to live in a stereotype shell? Black's lazy. First war councilman wasting time. He's irrelevant. Don't y'all get it? We went through this with Carrie and Jackie popping and them putting a hand up in my face. I'm not going to every time I speak be belittled when I'm making points by this council. Don't y'all get it? The time wasted was with her when she appealed it. And I'm telling you, when she sees she losing, I want to withdraw it. You done wasted time, tell her. Quit picking at me about the great waster of time. I'm here to do business. Thank you. So now, she's at a point, that's why I stopped. I 
said I wanted to withdraw so we could move on, Mr. Mays. That was my intention. So, and here we are. So that's Mr. Right. President, was that a statement or a question that she interrupted me with? She said, here we are. She didn't ask no question. That wasn't a point of information. It was out of order. I'm telling you, I know how to shut up, but I'm telling you, Miss Galloway, she makes I look at demeanor. People's demeanor and words is admissible in a court of law. I'm tired of the different treatment. I'm tired of the singling it out. And every time you do it, I'm going to make a point. Now, I said, and listen, I don't waste time. When I speak, don't call me the great waste of time. This is ridiculous. So now we're at Mrs. Uh, uh, Councilwoman Galloway's withdrawal. No, it's worthy. Councilwoman Galloway's withdrawal. And all who uh, are in favor of her withdrawing her appeal, please signify by raising your hand or saying aye. 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 Opposed, saying sign. Any abstentions? So you're in favor of withdrawing. You have the floor. I was just going to read this. I really um, don't need subpoenas or um, an administration. I think I got my questions answered. Some of you weren't here, so I get it. If you want administration to be here, but um, it is when, you, when I say bid rigging, um, I'm quite confident that I that it is what it is. Um, there's bid manipulation. It's a method for officials to choose the bidder of their choice that occurs after the receipt of bids. The methods for this would either include changing bid parameters. That's exactly what they did. That's exactly what they said to us in committee. They all of a sudden changed it from 11 to 2. The 2 that W.T. Stevens were the lowest on. That is bid manipulation evaluation processes or other activity to effectively select the bidder of choice. Um, and I can go on uh, the different types of bid rigging, um, but when I say it, I say it with 100% confidence that that's exactly what happened. It is the definition of bid rigging. And no one can take my freedom uh, to be able to say that away. It is what it is. I'm confident in it. I have no qualms about it. And I'd like for council to do the right thing and that's move along this contract and, and that stop. I mean, we've wasted almost two hours now. I think most of us know how, to, how we're going to vote on this. So why, why are we stuck in this constant state of screaming and yelling? We need to just move on. Point of information. What is she trying to get us to vote on? She said we know how we gonna vote. Vote on what? What is it? Point of information through you, Mr. Chairman, to Ms. Worthy. What are you want us to Well, the to first point on? of business is the subpoenas. We know how we're gonna vote, and then the second is the business of the city and and these contracts. How do we have to vote on that? What did we do? We done voted once. Well, I'm trying to figure out sincerely what if you wait for us to vote on. You voting, we voting to rescind it, or we done already voted. What is you saying we need to vote on? Okay, the subpoenas, we ain't got the votes, but we need people here. We'll see if we got the votes. But other than that, I thought you was talking about the contracts. What are you trying to say we need to vote on? Which However, council decides, we, we, decide we just need no, to vote. No, 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 and no. We're not gonna, we're not gonna, we, and we know that. We just, okay, we just, I'm just trying to sort it out. Ms. President, is we ready to vote? Nope. Uh, we have one more council member with you. I would like to um, <coughs> make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Um, substitute substitute motion. motion. <coughs> um, instead of Subpoenas. I think we should make, I, I want to make a substitute motion to um, work with administration on uh, settling this. You know, not, not per se subpoenas, but to have administration to come forth, be present, so that we can talk about this. Mr. President. There's a motion on the floor. Should we state that motion? Um, 
She wants administration to be present. Yes, okay. for administration to be um, present at our, at, our, at our meeting. And um, let's drop the subpoena motion. Okay. 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 I'll, I'll wait, 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 wait. It, it could be seconded here. Let me yes, Mr. President, I'll second her it's motion. Been moved and second. Mr. President, but the question is when. Is that a special meeting, a regular meeting? Um, the question I got Let's is that when. That's a good yeah, that's a okay. major question because so they were supposed to be here now. You first, you got it. Well, I'm going to save my time. I just did a quick I win. Okay. I think, um, yeah, we have, what, we have, um, but sometime this week, we really need to, to, to get this um, taken care of. Point of information. Mm -hmm. Didn't you hear they putting it back out for bid? We don't know that for sure. I'm just telling these people ain't yeah, coming in here. Yeah, we don't know that for sure. So, Councilman Galloway. Okay, so, so, Mr. President, um, I, they heard I, 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 I am trying to find out, as a legislative body, <clears throat> what we can do to enforce the resolution that was approved J July 9th of 2018. Mm -hmm. Because if that phase five, all of phase five, because part of this contract mm -hmm. includes some of phase five and phase six. Mm -hmm. So in my so mind, in wow. do she realize that we can award money, whether it's budget, fire, they don't have to spend it or execute it. We can award. Mr. Mays, if you would just allow me, my point is this. <clears throat> We approved a not to exceed contract for all of phase five. Mm -hmm. Many of the people that are before us right now that are concerned about what's going on are phase five people or before. And so in actuality, if, if what was approved last year was honored, there would be time to rebid phase six, in my opinion. But my question is, as a legislative body, <laughs> although, you know, Mr. Mason said what he wants to, I want to see the contract. Goyette was a... Point of information. Do you realize no contract has been signed? Yes, it has. I'm talking about last year's, Mr. Mays. Are you talking about last year's? And, and Mr. President, I would like you to stop Mr. Mays from interrupting. He is abusing point of orders, and we talk about this every meeting. It was wrong, but he always wants to interrupt you. So this is my question to this body. Because we don't need to speak to the administration right now as much as we need to find out why are we not honoring all of Phase 5 being honored in a resolution that we approved in a contract that was issued last year. For right? the information, could that possible contract have an ending date like December 31st for AECOM? They have ending dates. Could that be possible? Do you know, Mr. Mays? You got all the know. answers. I do know. What was it? Yeah, and Goyette can tell you. They can tell you. I done talked to them. So I can answer it, but y'all don't want to do work, and they get answers, y'all just, he so, can tell you if they had an ending date. Mr. President, we, we are not getting any work done. We, we have two resolutions that are, that I, I mean, I'm sending you emails of every person that's calling me, and we have spent almost two hours. So what do we do instead of just keep going over the river? You tell me, Mr. President. I think we should move. Yeah. We should move. You mean move the resolution? Yeah, we're on a motion. We gotta, we gotta get all this stuff off the floor. Give us this one and then go back to that. To drop this I, I want to speak on this after we're done. I just want to vote to resolve this phase six okay. issue. Any other discussion? <clears throat> uh, Mr. President, these gentlemen say it wasn't no ending date on the contract for phase five. Now, Joe had mentioned and we had talked earlier, but this guy, gentlemen, say it ain't no ending day. So we'll look at the contract and see. But I don't want to put words in his mouth. But I'm just looking. I'm trying. They can talk about how long we've been on this, but the residents I represent appreciate us being on it to try to fix their problem. Now, every time Miss Galloway or anybody say what they want to say, then they end up, we've been on this a long time and need to be on it longer. 
Men could be on it longer if they're willing to meet. I'm willing to meet in a special meeting today, tomorrow, the next day. But all of this talk they talking about is irrelevant because I got two contractors left for emergency meeting say it's going out for me. And Miss Galloway, the only way you can control stuff is by ordinance. You can't force the administration to spend $1.7 million for fire. It can sit there and go back in the general fund. You can do certain things. Mr. President, through you to Ms. Galloway, is it something you're trying to show me that you can force the administration to do? you holding it up while I'm talking, distracting me. Could you read to me what you're holding up and I'll yield? You just said ordinance, and so there are some provisions in the ordinance. What do they do you say? Want me to read it? Yeah, yes, that's what absolutely. I'm asking. Let's get this done. If yes. you say we can force ordinance them. Ordinance number, I'm not saying that. 3865, well, 3865, page 12, number 9. Adjustments to negotiated awards in the event, because again, remember, Ms. Galloway, that it was Mr. I'm, May, I'm you asked to do it. for you to tell me in what the you event, showed me the that you think you can force somebody was to do for something. a project, Mr. May, so can I start all over? In the event, the flow. successful bidder was <laughs> for a project that is, exceeds available funds. As certified by the finance director, the purchasing director is authorized when time or economic consideration precludes resolicitation of work of a re reduced scope to negotiate an adjustment of the bid price with the lowest responsible bidder in order to bring the bid within the amount of available funds. So Mr. that's page Mr. 12, Mr. President, Mr. May I now continue? I yield for that. Now I'm telling you that stuff we already know. We know finance, purchasing, and people can stop contracts, add to them. For months, I didn't ask this council to enact an emergency purchasing ordinance. I'm going to say it again for the record. We in an emergency. We in an emergency. It's been declared. I've asked this council to meet and enact an emergency purchasing ordinance just for times such as these. It has fell on... I just try to get people's attention. When I, they talk, I listen. When I talk, I be wanting them to listen. But it ain't no equity there. I just want people to meet and do what we can do and all things we can do. Now, here she reading something that don't answer the question at hand. Can you force the administration to do something? That was her question. And if she thought that answered it, she should have read that when she had the flow. Here I'm speaking, and she read holding up the purchasing ordinance that ain't addressed yet, that this council can force the administration to do so. The only thing I know this council can do is ask questions, inquire, um, create ordinances, and, 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 and subpoena people to show up. I don't think, I've been around the city for a long time in this arena. If you find language that can make, that this council can force the administration up, um, as a matter of fact, the charter has always said that this council can't direct employees to do nothing. That ain't your function. That ain't no legislative function to direct Rob Benzik or nobody. That's the Mayor's function, that's her staff to direct employees. They can be working on Stewart Street and she can stop them and order them to go to Pearson Road. This legislative body don't have no authority such as that, Ms. Galloway, to direct department heads and give orders. That's clearly what we can't do. All you can do is inquire, investigate, and set and create ordinances. So that's the problem we got, Mr. President. You got a lot of new folks. Point of information. Councilman Mays, then, then how were we able to go through a court process with the trash contract to Rizzo and Republic and successfully ensure that that was done the way that it was? The court rule. Oh, we can so we initiate that. lawsuits. That's why I got a lawsuit right. against y'all now. I can't control y'all here, but we in Judge Newblatt's court now. Eric Mays versus Galloway, Guerra, Fields, Worthen, Briggs, and whatever. So courts can do what you can't do. Now, if you ask them that should we initiate a lawsuit 
in order to try to get stuff done according to law? That's a different question. Let me say this. I said it's a problem in the legal department when they sit here and won't answer. So y'all don't want a subpoena, let alone file a lawsuit to enforce compliance. Y'all don't even want to start at first base asking questions. Oh, we so polite. Let's just ask them one more time to come up. And if they don't come up that second time and answer these all important questions, then we might do something else. So that's where the motion at. I will be voting yes on Miss Winfrey Carter's motion. I'm trying to see when. When will you call them up? After they done put it back out for bid? They show sure ain't here today on request. I got two contractors within a four o'clock meeting. They say it's going out for bid. And y'all still trying to force something to be done the way you want. And I'm telling you, you're gonna be untimely and y'all are fishing around for rules that some of them ain't there. And by the time y'all figure it out, guess what? It ain't gonna be timely. And so guess what I do, Mr. President? Just listen, listen, look, but guess what I do for the TV? I know what I'm talking about. Thank you. I understand what is being said. Uh, I think our best course of action is to not rescind the contract. So just, I mean, if we don't do that, then the administration can't take the bid away from Point of information. Do you realize it ain't a contract? <laughs> It is a contract that council signed. It's a resolution. Okay. I'm not going to be voting to rescind the resolution that administration and council signed for Goyette to do their work. That's our first course of action. The second is council may not be able to uh, make administration do anything, but if we don't sue them, uh, and one of us could initiate that, then Goyat is, and they are owed millions. And how much is that gonna cost the city? So I think residents need to be here. Uh, it's way past the time we were starting for our meeting, but I would like administration to hear how residents in this city feel about a lawsuit that will be filed immediately once Goyat does not get this work, and rightfully so. So whether we sue the administration to do what's right, or Goyat will, I think we just don't vote to rescind the contract, I will not be, and then we move on. And then what administration does, I know we all want them to move and act now because our residents are calling and saying, why isn't my yard being fixed? But if there's nothing we can do other than what council's allowed to do, then we have to wait this out. And that would be administration's fault for allowing the city to be sued once again. We saw how that worked out for Rizzo uh, and Republic, and here we are once again. I don't think administration wants to do that. It's an election year, and if they do, then talk about crazy. <laughs> I don't know. So I'm gonna vote yes to Ms. Winfrey Carter's uh, motion that administration should be here, and then I think we should just move on and go to council after that. Council. Mr. President, 18-21.15 um, of bid protest. Section number four. First of all, it talks about if any contractor decides that the bidding, um, that they are protesting the bidding or the outcome, it gives them steps on what they should do. But in number four, it says stay of procurement during protest. In the event a timely protest is submitted to the purchasing director under this section, the purchasing director shall not proceed further with the solicitation award or performance of the purchase order agreement or contract until the protest is sustained or dismissed or the city council makes a determination on the record that awards or performance of a purchase order agreement or contract without delay is necessary to protect substantial interests of the city. According to this, this city council does have the right on record. And, and we can ask the lawyer, I don't know, but the point is it reads in here, that's black and white. Or the city council makes a determination on the record that the award or performance of a purchase order agreement or contract without delay is necessary to protect substantial interests of the city. 
What you, what you, what you the question I keep asking is when? <laughs> but Mr. Mays, it goes back to what you said. This council don't have no authority. According to this, we do. And it is substantially affecting. Oh, you don't, you want to go back and forth. Mr. President. That ain't the same authority that you were talking about. I found the right one, though. How about that? And so, Mr. Mays, you need to. And Ms. Galloway, please, it ain't about me, it's about. Oh, Mr. President, order, I'm Mr. willing to President. support her decision, but I want That's this council to make a decision tonight. We'll get that. We ain't Mr. even had a discussion yet. on Councilwoman Wendy Carter's motion. Right. Here we go. Mr. President. Madam Clerk, roll call. This is for Councilwoman Winfrey's Can you restate the motion? The, motion. the, the uh, Councilwoman Winfrey Carter's motion. Uh, oh, would you restate that motion for me? Uh, is it motion to work with the administration on settling this issue? Have members of the administration present to talk about this and drop the subpoena motion. Point of information. And then what we'll do, circle back on when? I think we yeah, actually we'll, we'll 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 be good to, to know now, but we can circle back on when. We can, we can always come back. Do you guys have uh, time, time this week to do this? We're going to do this session. Oh. So you're talking about when we come back? Let's call. Yeah. Let's just name a day. Let's name a day. Um, I thought this was next week. 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 Next because the contractors are here. Why can't we just ask them to answer questions when we start our council meeting tonight? That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that'd be fine. Mr. President, yeah. let me say this if I may. I don't want nobody to say nothing because the rules of speaking twice on a motion has been breached. So let me proceed with them breach rules from Galloway and whoever else. Oh, yeah. Mr. President, we were on a new motion. There was no breach of more than two times. Mr. President. Trust me, trust me, let me say this. Everything is can be done today, put off. I know contractors is here, we ask them. The minute we get into it, oh, we done spent too much time on this. I don't care what they do, in here or on the floor. <laughs> I'm just saying, quit all the mess and be consistent. Now look. We done said and listen to her dig and read. She's shaking her head. When it's just crazy. Whenever somebody speaks, particularly from this end, they belittle it, they demean her. It's just awful. Looking, searching, reading, trying to impress folks. This is a motion to try to get the administration here. The question is when and what time. I said that in the middle of the motion. Then after we get them here, then we'll start the strategy to see what we can learn and find out and move forward. I ain't in here to try to compete with folks trying to play like they know it's smarter and ain't. That's why the, beg your pardon, Miss Galloway, because I, I, it happens every time. I'm going to start speaking when she speaks, making little comments to Maurice like she's doing on that end. It is ridiculous. Did you hear or was that just my ears? Did you hear or was that just my ears? Did you hear? Y'all protect each other for this nonsense. And I'm honest. You heard her if I heard her. <laughs> It's just ridiculous. You might not have heard of Ms. President, but I'm saying we heard it. People protect each other down there. Gary, he going to say something that sounds like the middle of the road. It's ridiculous. Point of order, Mr. President. <laughs> he is attacking. Come on, Mr. That what they do to me? Was that wasn't no real time. attack on Gary? I'm just saying, I'm so tired of her saying, Mr. President, he's using point of information, but she do it regularly. It's hypocritical. We call it talking out both sides of your neck in the hood. I wish they would quit talking out of both sides of their neck and be fair and honest and quit all this bias because that's what caused the problem. It ain't going to work with me. 
They're not going to set the narrative to define who I am. And they're not going to set the narrative that they don't know what they can do, don't know the scope of what they can do as council people to try to fix this. It's really embarrassing to have a council with this much lack of knowledge can do something simple and they make it too... too she don't need when I'm done. Just, she, she the one hollers about these points. What's your point? No, you said through you two, um, the first work, I just want to know where we were. Well, we've been, we're trying to get ready to hold on this motion. I'm so tired of her, I don't know what to do. Yes, yes, I can we do as soon as possible. As soon as possible. She because so much should be here today. We, we have questions yes, and we need I'm our tired of her. This is so ready. Yeah, I'm so tired of her, it's making me sick. Roll call. This is That's great. I wouldn't even embarrass myself like that. Just ignorant. Mr. Baines? Oh, yeah, I vote for the administration to be here yesterday. Mr. Davis? Yes. Mr. Guerra? Yep. Ms. Fields? Yes. Ms. Winfrey Carter? Yes. Mr. Winfrey? Yes. Ms. Galloway? Yes. Mr. Griggs? Yes. I think Mr. President, when is, eight to zero. when is this meeting Mr. supposed to happen? Did well, we settle we that yet? ASAP. What do that mean, ASAP? Mr. President. Councilman uh, here. Now that we're done with that res that motion, I want to make a, res a motion to drop. One nine zero two five four. Point order, Mr. President. What's your point order? The motion was in a special order. I oh, think it's proper to ask that we done with the special order before he start moving the agenda. He ain't the chair, Mr. President. No. I think they relate to the special order. We've had motions all day long. So. That's okay. We still got an agenda, can we, can sir. We, can we can we follow an agenda and some order so that we can get out of here? And then take care of some business. I don't, well, we still got a minute. I'll make a motion that we send one oh, nine zero oh, five two. Oh, you and you can recognize this is a group. Of, I see y'all on the floor. These people is don't get it. It's like we in elementary school. I would like to. Ain't it crazy? Councilmember, it's a motion. It was a motion. His motion was to drop one nine zero two five seven one nine zero two five eight. And I said okay. yep. there's a motion on the floor to drop one nine zero two five seven one nine zero two five eight. Is there, and it has been supported. Is there any discussion on that motion? Um, do we do something with one nine zero two five three? Not because we have a special order, he, he yeah. got you. Mr. President. Now, is there any discussion? Yeah, Mr. The President. I think it's premature to do anything with this right. stuff until we hear from the administration and get to the bottom of it. Just because they've made up their mind and they're making motions, they can vote the way they want. Mm -hmm. They done charge people publicly, just irresponsible as a trustee of this city to say on the record, I know 100% that would be it, Rick. How you know? You ain't did no investigation. Ain't talked to nobody. Just very, to me, irresponsible as a trustee and board member to make public statements that could put us probably in litigation and I'd subpoena her and subpoena the tape. And then I would sue her if she wrong, personally and professionally. Just irresponsible statements. Now, here we done said, let's call people up, get to the bottom of it, and folks want to drop, I think you said two of them. One of them was to give it to WT, and the other one was to rescind Goyette. And that's irresponsible, it ain't been no investigation yet. But this is how this council moved. I'm saying this is a crazy council. Ain't no way I'm going to take a part of something that we ask people to be here. We vote unanimously to do an investigation and inquiry as to what then went on and not you taking action rather than tabling. Ain't that why? I don't operate that way. And then when you make the proper motion to table until after we do the investigation, guess who's going to vote? 
the fabulous five. The fabulous five. Now, I won't be a part of it. I'll be voting no to dispose of something before we do the investigation. That ain't even smart to me. People just want to make invent, want to make motions, want to make motions, want to be a big shot, want to make motions. Now here we saying, let's find out what's happening with this, and we making motions to dispose of stuff rather than table. We smarter than the average bat. I don't know if we is or not. I won't be a part of the fair five. I'm going to wait and table stuff. I ain't even making a motion to table. Because the longer you talk, the, the, the crazier it gets. I'm going to be watching this video like a mug. Because I'm listening at the motion now. They ain't even investigated and they ready to drop. Because, what, Eva say she know 100%? I don't know what you know 100%, Mr. Guerra, but I don't know nothing 100%, particularly until I ask questions and do an investigation. Thank you. Uh, Councilman Guerra. Yeah, so the reason I made the motion to drop was because I believe that Goyette was legally given the contract, uh, and I do not want to see this uh, restoration delayed for the city of Flint. Point of information. You believe that them four things on the resolution we adopted and voted on was legally given and done. That's your point? Because that four was on there. I believe at the time, we, we, the council unanimously signed the, or signed the resolution uh, with your signature and the administration approved it, I think. But so given the specs when they were allowed to bid on the 11th specs, uh, Goyet was the lowest bidder. Uh, I don't see any reason to not give them the contract, and I think that I would have liked to see them already working on this restoration. I think Goyette mm -hmm. would like to see them working on this, and I think the residents would like to see Goyette working on these restorations because we've had people who have wanted these restorations for <coughs> over a year. Uh, and this is not something that I want continually to delay, because the more we delay this, uh, the, the, well, the worse size it's going to get. Uh, and I'd like to see these voted and dropped uh, today, uh, and I think that the more we continue to postpone, the more, the more time goes on. Uh, where things are getting done, and I'm, I'm tired of saying that. Yes, Councilwoman Worthy. Council, question. Support. Oh, we're done. We're the ocean the call for the question and it's been supported. Order, Mr. President. That's that's point that point. was a fair discussion. No, it's never right. And that's a violation of the rules. That's twice that happened. I think it's always allowed, but I would vote no. It's always allowed. It's always allowed. It said that it had to be you <laughs> Then. We can vote it down. Okay. Okay. It's been moved uh, to call for the question. It's been supported. Uh, Madam Clerk, roll call. No, uh, call for the question. Show our hands. We ain't committed. Okay. How many, all in favor of a call for the question, please signify by raising your hand. All opposed, please signify. Okay. So uh, this brings us to Councilman Griggs. Okay. Um, both of these uh, resolutions, 190257 and 190258, they have a rather nebulous uh, little sentence in here that makes no sense. And I think it was uh, maybe the Department of Public Works trying to pull a uh, little blanket over our eyes. Let me re re read what it said. Unbeknownst to the city, the state of Michigan discovered a discrepancy in the calculation. Right. Oh my. Who in the state did this? No, and what's the discrepancy? This is, and again, and that sentence is in both of these resolutions. That's just hogwash. We need to drop these things and get our uh, restoration going. I'm done. Thank you. So, um, it's that actually, it was my turn. I'm okay. just filling in for Mr. No. Um, President Winfrey. Um, I just want to say that the reason why I'm going to support dropping this is because this has been a hot button all weekend, ever since it came up. And the fact that there's not someone from the administration saying, we want to delay this, 
We want to come and let you guys know that we've decided to rebid. Instead, we're hearing from the contractors that are coming from the meeting. And so, in my opinion, if the administration wanted us to know something, they would be here today. We shouldn't have to make motions asking them to be here. This is huge on everybody's mind. And so, for that reason, I am going to be dropping both of these. Mr. Davis. Thank you, Madam Chair. Y'all can sit up here and do foolish stuff if you want to. Ain't nobody sitting at this table going to reimburse now contractor. You better find out what the administration has going in a in an orderly fashion, respectable fashion. The reason they ain't here because of the hostility from this group. That's why they ain't sitting here. Common sense can tell you that. But sit up here and drop something you don't know nothing about. And who going to reimburse these contractors when y'all get them back to work, just like now, super was well sitting here looking for pay. The state is the one. You better get correct information. You're acting too fast not knowing nothing about what you're doing. Do it the right way. you got to do something at this magnitude in, in harmony with the administration. This body is too animated, hell-bent on this hostile environment. Rob Benzie was, was disrespected like a little child up here. That's why they ain't sitting here. Take him out disrespected. Attorney Will is disrespected. The administration disrespected. That's why they ain't here. Because it's hostile, I almost said the wrong thing, environments in here. But sit up here and vote if you want to with state money, which you ain't got a dime in your pocket. And I'm done. Uh, yes. Thank you. Um, now, we just voted on a motion to work with the administration on these two resolutions. So I would think that we would want to not drop these resolutions. So with that being said, I am not going to vote to drop these two resolutions because we need to work with the administration. We need to find out what's really going on, and, and we need to come to an agreement on what to do about this. It's not, it, it wouldn't be good a good idea to drop these two resolutions. I don't think, in my opinion. Mr. President. Yeah, real quick. This motion was made by Mr. Guerra. Right. Mr. Guerra didn't make the motion to table this until we met. Right. He didn't vote to table this until we see what's happening. He voted to drop WT and drop this with Goyette for phase five and six. That's not a smart move, in my opinion, but I see the Fab Five ready to vote. I heard what Greg said. I heard what Galloway said. I heard the maker of the motion. What you missing? Kate Fields and Eva. Same Fab Five that threw a e -com out. The Fab Five is running this council, and if you don't watch it, they're going to be presidents and vice and everything. My position is this with the Fab Five. Why would you vote to drop something before you get the information? Because Ms. Worthy said what she 100% sure of as it relates to the state people putting in writing. The state of Michigan discovered a discrepancy in the calculation. I ain't heard from Rock, the state, but now Ms. Worthen said she 100%. She said she 100%. So Gara believed what Ms. Worthen said, and he ready to... Maybe you don't believe what Ms. Worthen said. You laughing. Maybe you don't, but you sure believe it's best to drop than table. Table don't hurt nothing. Miss, 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 Miss Winfrey Cotter, watch this. I move the table this until we get to the meeting at a time certain where we can ask the right relevant questions. There's a motion on the floor to table this until we... Mr. Come. President, yes. I'll second the motion. Just to move the proper second, is there a discussion on that motion? Here, Mr. President. Just my discussion would be this. If we was the when we, we take it off the table, it should be a time when the administration agree to the meeting and not just a meeting to meet or a meeting to waste time without a quorum and I'm done. Okay. Uh, Councilman Briggs. Uh tabling this will just delay. 
-hmm. restoration. I'm not voting for it. Okay. Any other discussion on the motion? Any other discussion on the motion? All in favor of tabling this until the time to a, a time later, uh, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign, but nay. Okay. So that brings us. Back to the regular motion. Back to the regular motion. And that is to drop. Uh, and which two we drop it? 190257. That's the phase five and six for Goyette. 190258. And let, 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 me, uh, let me chime in on this discussion briefly. I, I would I would like to see us uh, drop it because again we, we, we said that we want to do this one thing with uh, Councilwoman Murphy Carter's motion and it seems to drop it we need to just overlook that uh, I would like for us to say let's meet on Wednesday at two thirty a special city council meeting and see if Mayor can can meet here. Uh, so that we can get these questions answered. There's the date, there's the time. And some people may not be able to make it out, change things around so that I can I can make it, but I think we need to be specific because again, we really don't need this restoration held up later. So if, if my colleagues is willing to, to indulge that, uh, Wednesday, 2.30, special city council meeting, see if the mayor and the administration can be here to talk about these questions and, and clear up anything so that we can move forward. Uh, that would be what I would like to see happen. Uh, and then it, doesn't, it doesn't have to be in the form of a motion because it doesn't change anything. It just sets a date for when we can meet. And Mr. Point President. Order. What's your point? Mr. President, Mr. Mays has spoken twice on this this very on this motion. No, it's not. He spoke the first time, and then a call to the question was done that was voted down. And then we all got to finish speaking, and then he got a second time, spoke, and then made a substitute motion to table. That's two times on the motion. Point of information, Ms. President. How many times have she spoke on this? Does she know? And I'm not I've speaking got, again I've got, once. I've got, I've got one time. Thank you. Okay, and how many times you got down from me? And she sure watches me, don't you? If you time in her long winded set, how many minutes a second? How many minutes a second she got left? Point of information. Uh, how many how many time, how much time is it talking to go? This, this I don't, I they don't, don't know. Point of order, Ms. President. Would you warn her when we got a point of information? You ain't warning her. You let her go before then. When you left, she threw me out. You got to warn her when she butt in on a point of information. Yeah, you would. Would you tell her? On my stuff dealing with property, you left, your hand was hurt. It was the dirtiest, nastiest thing. I'm just telling you. Remember, I tried to get you to warn her because when you don't, it leaves her in a nasty position. So we was on a point of information. When she butt in and we talking to them, warn her twice and then ask her to remove because that's what she's been doing. It's just that way. Well, you're a nice guy. She so, nasty. So here's what we're going to do. We are, I, I, this I is real. did the last discussion. This is real. The person to, to discuss this motion to postpone. All in favor of the postponement, please signify by saying aye. I mean, not postpone, but to drop. Point of order. I don't think you an exhausted discussion yet on that motion before you. You say some people have just spoken once. But nobody else wanted to. Okay, well, I didn't hear you ask. I just seen her hand up, but I didn't. I just seen her hand up. I didn't know what was happening, man. I just did a point or it ain't no big deal. I don't care if they never say that. So all in favor of postponing 190. Dropping. Thank you so much, colleagues. 
And anybody could get mixed up in this friggin' maze. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Corner water, Miss Burton. Ain't we always been able to separate stuff and don't have them both the same on both? And so I would ask that they be separated. No, no, no. That's how we, that's how we, that's how we, I'm just telling you, every motion on masses, we don't have to be forced to vote the same. We can, we've always been able to separate. I'm on a point of order, Mr. President. I'm on the point of order. <laughs> Just because they're trying to hear my point of order. My point of order. Is this going to be the first time we could separate something? And if so, I want to separate it because we've always been allowed to separate and vote differently. And I ask that they be separated. What's your point of order? Isn't it true, Mr. President, that Mr. Mays had exhausted? This time this to speak on this issue. He was asking for no, on the motion. And so he cannot then can ask to take the floor to ask for a separation. He had exhausded his time for discussion. Councilwoman, he asked for a point of, I believe, information. And point of order. Had, point of order. And then he asked if it could be separated, separated. and both differently. I'm not I don't agree. Order is a breach of the rules. There were no rules breached. I don't agree. It is properly. Yeah. I believe that he can't because when he, when Councilman Guerra voted, he, I mean, when he made the, uh, the uh, motion, he included both of them. And there were no separates. And point of order. If I can separate no, them and vote no, differently, can. that's what I would like to do. The men no, who rule, they can't be separated out of the period. Point so of I'm order, Mr. They President. Be separated. It's not that they can't be separated. He cannot use a point of order to separate. Oh, yes, Every, I did. That's exactly where the point of order is. I can't believe her neither. I can't believe her neither. Can we vote, Mr. President? I thought they called you to vote. Point of order. Did you rule they can't be separated? Yes, I appeal the ruling. There was a ruling, the second of the ruling in the chair, the second, I, I said that they can't be separated. When he made the motion, Nobody asked for a separation. He made them. We discussed it. Nobody separated. That's that's why I, I said no. Nobody said let's separate them at that time. And then we discussed them. And now we're getting ready for the vote. And so based on those things, I said, Mr. based on those, Mr. I said no. Let's not separate them now. We should have done it at the beginning. Mr. President, Councilman, the Mayor. motion is still the motion. That's it true. don't matter if I ask to separate it at the beginning or the end. We in the motion. Not if we get ready to vote and I see they want to force me to vote the Call same way you. for WT and the same way for Goyette. I don't That's have right. to be locked into one vote. Yeah. I can vote yeah. differently. Yeah. It's just common yeah. courtesy yeah. and practice. Yeah. So Excuse I could Excuse me. warn her. That no. ain't her. That's not her. That's not her. I heard and seen. Go ahead. <laughs> if you were fooling with him. Yeah. Yeah. My position is this. It's unprecedented that we forced the vote on resolutions and stuff. So they said a whole new president want me to vote no or yes on both, and they totally different resolution. So if that's how the Fab Five want to roll, I better hurry up and try to get them out of that because this is unprecedented. And that's what they bucking at. If they bucking to try to prove me wrong, they going to end up there like Jackie Poplar, Juan Twez Davis, Kerry Nelson, Kate Field scooped through here for we order, I know on an appeal. He oh. is threatening council. No, members. I ain't threatening. It's a promise, y'all. It's a promise. The, 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 the language been approved. This ain't no threat. This is a promise. And I'm telling you, and I told him that before the language was approved. If these Fab Five think they can keep me from voting for my residence on this and that and put everything together, they got another thing coming. So I won't be voting, and I am um, appalled that you rule that we can't separate. I'll be voting no on the ruling of the chair. You being held hostage by these folks, because I'm telling you, when they get to the point that you can't separate, I don't want to vote the same on both of these. And every motion, whether it's a master resolution, a appointment, we have always been able to separate, Mr. President, without objections. Yeah. And so now you letting the Fab Five say to your ruling, oh, 
You can't separate. Your job was to say, why not separate? And then rule accordingly. So now we got the Fab Six. I appeal to ruling, and I will be bold and know that we can't separate and got the votes the same on each one. That's ridiculous in a democracy. Councilwoman Gallagher, any other discussion on the appeal? Okay, to uh, voting yes means that you, that my ruling will stand. Voting no means that uh, we do Councilman Mays and he will be separate. All in favor of the chair's uh, position on 190257 and 190258, please signify by raising your hand or saying aye. Aye. Uh, opposed, same sign. Any abstentions? Mr. Chair, Mr. No, President. He doesn't get the floor. So now we're back to Mr. President. Oh, I'm sorry. Now we're back to the original where we're voting on the drop of 190257 and 190258. And all in favor of dropping 190257 and 190258, please signify by raising your hand. All opposed, same sign. Any abstention? Mr. President, now that's what I was getting at. I thought we were back on the agenda. Now he said he brought that under a special order, and that's how he snuck that in. We, if we was to follow agenda, the next thing would be one nine zero two five three. But he, that was just that wasn't. If, point of order, Mr. President. I got the flow. He didn't say no point of information, point of order. Okay, what? He said lie. Subject to announce the vote afterwards. I did, I said five. Oh, did you miss it? You miss a lot. <laughs> you miss so, president. So, back to the agenda. No, it bring me back to with the flow. The agenda ain't been broke because he said we were still in a special order. And he pulled that motion out under the special order. That's what he said. You remember that? So, it's my special order. So, let me say this, Mr. President. You said we need to meet... May, Wednesday, um, at 2 o'clock, 2.30. And so if you don't have nobody to sign on with you for that special meeting, I will, whether they agree to show up or not. Can we take a poll and see how many of them ready to show up at 2.30 Wednesday? How many people can meet on Wednesday? Uh, we're Huh? Why would we meet on Wednesday? Well, you know what I'm saying? You wasting your time with that group. So <laughs> you gonna, you willing to post it for Wednesday at 2.30, and if they show up, they do. I'll sign on. Ms. Brown can stamp my name. They ain't trying to get to the bottom of that. They laughing and glad talking about it. It feels good to win a vote. So, now, Mr. Not? President, let me finish the special order. So we know we ain't got cooperation. I ain't worried about Miss Miss Worthy, and that's one. I want to see how many of them going to be here Wednesday at 2.30. We see she ain't. She said it. Is you, Mr. Garrett? I don't have my schedule in front of me. Okay, well, this is your job. Get your schedule. You, Miss Galloway? Oh, I'll be here. You, Mr. Griggs? I got to check my schedule. Okay. You, Miss Winfrey Cobb? Oh, yeah. You? I know, Mr. You, yeah, you. So we got a quorum, regardless. Hopefully, the haters and all the other switchers and communicators. So it looks like we might have a quorum. It looks like we might. Galloway, you, you, me, and him. Maybe we'll run the city, and they'll check their schedule and figure out how to run the city after they check their schedule. Now, Mr. President, Wednesday at two thirty. You'll see that it gets posted. This Wednesday? Yes. This Wednesday? Yeah, and if it takes more than two, or it takes at least two, they can stamp my name on Winfrey and May. Right, so that we got that business out of the way. We'll look for Tuesday, Wednesday at 2 30. And I would ask that, can y'all help me remember? I'll try to remember. Mr. President, yes, I would move um, 190253. Um, to council. Councilman, yes. I second that motion. We move to second. Is there any discussion on the motion? Hearing none. Now, yeah. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Any abstentions? 
Mr. President, until I get the information as it relates to 190197, Mr. Stewart can continue to serve. No slack to him. I would ask that this be postponed back to committee to they give us that committee information. Motion on the floor. Postpone 190197 back to committee. Councilman Gary. Second. Second. Is there any discussion on that motion? Hearing none, all in favor of sending 190197 back to Ms. President. the uh, uh, proper committee, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same side. Any abstention? Yes, sir. We have add on resolutions. Mr. President, could we see the add on? Uh, Mr. President, is it one add on? I would move add on number one to council. Six. Six. There are six add on resolutions. What I was trying to explain before. Actually, they're all settlements that you've already agreed to. Mr. President, so I would, if it's one that's an add on number one, I like it and I'm willing to move. Add on number one. Oh, Mr. President, I'd like to make a substitute motion. All add on resolutions one through six to council. There's a motion on the floor. Point of order, Mr. President. She out of order. It ain't even no motion yet. She can't make a substitute. The proper Are you time was the it floor is a second. No. Do you want the floor then? I just did a point of order. I made a motion, and she trying to add, she trying to substitute a motion that ain't even been properly made and seconded. I made a motion to move add on number one to council, and I can identify it as the settlement between the city and Patricia Warner. There's a motion on the floor to send add on number one. Um, Mr. President, put of order. There was already a motion. No. No, it wasn't. There was a motion on the floor. She's so busy trying to correct her. Are you supporting that motion? I second it. Thank you. 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 Point of order, Mr. President. We ain't even labeled the rest of them and identify them. We wouldn't know two, three, six. So, Mr. President, that's kind of out of order till we label them one, two, three, four, five, and six. I ain't even labeled. Why can't we do that? It's easy. Yeah, but he, what is that? What is that? Girl, she, I mean, that's damn racist. I've been trying to get it done right. Then for if the we're going to do that, why is it that Mr. Mays made a motion for, for the um, didn't know it was without six. a given name? I mean, what is that nitpick, Mr. President? Point of order. Can we label them one, two, three, four, five, and six before we move them and they ain't even know what they label? I ain't in no contest with these fools. <laughs> point of order, Mr. President. Are you going to correct him? No, you correct me. Foolishness is foolishness. I mean, y'all an act of fool today. And then what they promise you have the positions, vote with me, I'm the five. You seven years old and Kate Field and Gary want to be something. Now, which one, the new which five. One, which one, which let's, one, Mr. Which President, one, let's, one, number one is the resolution to approve settlement between the city of Flint and Patricia Warren. How about number two? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well then take your time. No, all of these are the same. No, they ain't. One of them Patricia Shore. One of them is Sheena Jefferson. Okay, we got next. One of them is Tracy Ruder. And one of them is Vaughn Washington. And one of them is Roy Fields. Let me ask this question. Through you to the city attorney, where is Maurice Lever? It ain't here. Um, which one are we on? Uh, Mr. President. Okay, let me, Patricia. Mr. President, if I may. Can we add Patricia Shua as add-on number two? The one with Patricia Shua. The one with Sheena Jefferson, add-on number three. Yeah, you got Patricia Warner, number one. One is one, not sure. Patricia Shua, number two. Sheena Jefferson, number three. Tracy Ruder, 
Number four. Vaughn Washington, number five. And Roy Fields, number six. See, when you give folks information and they just trying to do, they import it now. Just send them all. They ain't even been late. But that's what they do when they whisper. Yeah. So now, if you want to move all of them to council, uh, that motion would name maybe not be in order. But it was out of order to say six of them in the name label. Okay, I'm going to get you into doing the discussion. There's a motion, a substitute motion on the floor to send all six to council. Is there support for that motion? Mr. President. Councilwoman. I second that. It's been moved and seconded. Mr. President, Ooh. I might ask that they need to be separated because I ain't got a clue on what it is. Executive session, all of them. One for Patricia Warner, $5,300. Um, Patricia Shewer, $10,000. Um, what is these settlements for through you to the city attorney? Are these folks who fell on the sidewalk or pothole, any of them? These were all um, sewer backups that we discussed. Sewer backups. Did we discuss them at closed session? So all of these are sewer backups. People getting paid these amount of money for sewer backups, correct? That's correct. What about the ones um, with Maurice Lieber? They ain't ready yet? That should be here, so my apologies that it's not here. So I'll go back before the next meeting and see if we have it back there. And if, and if we do, I'll bring out. Uh, you know, the next copies. meeting is scheduled for Wednesday. Yes. Yeah, we got a meeting this week. I believe we already did it last week, so we would have it on for this week. So if there was a miscommunication between our offices, then I will get that clarified before we go out there. So. I'm, I ain't clear. Are you saying if you can't get it on out here at this meeting, you'll have it for Wednesday? No, I'm saying I'll have it for you tonight. Okay, well, that'll be better than Wednesday. You, oh, you talking about the next meeting when we leave here. Miss, Miss, Miss Wheeler, I look at folks to me. I didn't look at the next meeting as breaking up from this and going out there. That don't make me dense. You know, I'm looking at folk demeanor like the next meeting. I was thinking the next meeting. And so demeanor means something. It means something when Miss Galloway do it, when you and Galloway become chummy chum and y'all do it with each other, Mr. Luster. Yes, sir. That means something to me. People's right. demeanor means stuff to me. It's been meaning stuff to me since high school. I look at demeanor, and in a court of law, it's admissible. It's admissible. So, so my position is this. Um, Done that. For the purposes of what they is in the update, I'll be supporting and voting to move them all to council. Any other discussion? All in favor of sending all six to council, see signify by saying aye. 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 Mr. President. I make a motion to adjourn. There's a motion to adjourn. Second. Let's be moving to second. All in favor. Aye. We are adjourned.